Are you ready? I hope you're ready, because I am definitely ready. What am I ready for? I'll tell you what I'm ready for. I'm ready for you TV producers to give me my own show. Ah, uh, Ginger, pay attention. Sorry, Tom, not sorry. Okay, here it is, the Talking Tom reality TV show audition video. <laughs> Now, I'm not gonna come on here and be like, oh, producers, please, please, please give me a reality show. No, I don't need to do that. Why? Because I know when you see my friends and my cool life, you're gonna be like, oh, Tom, please, 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 let us give you a reality show. Uh, hey, uh, probably being paranoid, but just wanted to make sure that you knew I was kidding when I was acting like you were gonna be begging me to do a reality show, okay? Okay. And cut! Thanks, Ginger. Tom! Hey, Angela! I got here as quickly as I could. Your message said it was urgent. Is everything okay? Yes! I'm finally filming my reality show audition tape. Oh, not really interested. Uh, now, Angela, I need you to check the acoustics for our new reality TV confession booth. Tom, it's a bathroom. Well, yeah. People sound great in the bathroom. That's why they sing in the shower. There's no shower in here. There's just a toilet. Shower, toilet, use your imagination. What? Use my imagination? Are you kidding me right now? That's our Angela. She's not only my good friend, but she is also kind of a pop star. You might even know some of her songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Yeah, yeah, baby, baby. Why don't you sing one of your songs? I love Tom, but my manager thought it might hurt my career to sing one of my real songs on his crazy audition tape. As you can see, this is no ordinary neighborhood garage. It's what we call the studio. studio. And it's where I produce games and songs and apps with my best friend and business partner, Ben. Hey, Ben. Ah! Tom. Ah! Please tell me that camera isn't recording. Are you kidding me? That was reality TV gold. Ben here is the owner of all this high-tech, expensive equipment. Correct, Tom. So don't you dare touch it. Ben's mom will let him keep the stuff at his house because of a few too many, shall we say, <clears throat> power surges caused a few too many, shall we say, the house fires. Not really my fault. Our electricity grid badly needs an upgrade. So, Ben, can you tell us what kind of mind-blowing, life-changing, high-tech invention you're working on? I can, but I don't see the reason why I would. Oh, come on, Ben. Tell us what it does. Well, if you must know, this is a squirting flower joke app. Ooh, what's that button? No, 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 don't, don't push it! Hmm, it doesn't even work. Well, it should. <laughs> now that is the funniest thing I have ever seen you do. What do you mean? I'm often very funny. Uh, not really. Uh-huh, I am so. Nope. Uh, nope. Mm hmm. You, reality show producers, you should know the following. Yes, I'm a tech genius, but I also possess a well-rounded personality. For example, I can be whimsical. I'm often spontaneous. I'm organized. In a fun way. And most of all, I am humorous. You're humorous? What? You don't think I'm funny? Mm, you know what? Forget I said anything. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not leaving until I have shown everyone that I am more than just the brains of this operation. Please don't. <clears throat> Hello, viewer. Prepare to laugh at the following stand-up comedy humor presentation. <laughs> Joke number one. So yesterday I flew in from the West Coast, and boy, are my arms tired. So you see, Tom, the word flu has two different meanings, so... Ben, if a joke is funny, you don't need to explain why it's funny. Stop it, Tom. You're embarrassing yourself. I have studied a lot more comedy than you have. Good day. Oh, of course. The best comedy comes from a spreadsheet. What are those two bickering about? Do they think that's going to impress the producers? And why am I talking to you instead of talking directly to them? 
Uh, take over. Oh, uh, uh, hi, I'm Tom's roommate, Hank. Um, well, I've seen every sitcom made from 1986 to 1994. And in France, I, I, I'm called Honk. Hey, Honk. Ginger! Oh, Ginger! Ginger, it's your turn to talk! In a minute! I'm almost done! Hey, that's my phone! I told you, if you don't behave, I'm gonna send you home! I'm sorry, Hank! Give me another chance! I'll be good! Ginger! And boy! Well, okay. Hi, everybody! My name is Ginger, and I'm seven years old! And when I grow up, I wanna be just like my role model, Hank! Aw, uh, I'm the only one who disciplines the kid. That's why he looks up to me. Hey, give me that! Ah! Ginger! Have a seat on the couch and tell the producers about yourself. Whoa! Tom, you start. I'm what people call a visionary. Some days I'll wake up and think, let's see, today I'm going to design a hot air balloon that can land on a passing asteroid. Except a hot air balloon can't fly in space. That's a minor detail. Comments like that prove that you're just not a visionary. And you're not a scientist. You two are a great team. Tell us about some of the apps you've created. Oh, tell her about the Ray Ray. Oh, uh, why did you bring that up? The Ray Ray was an app that used bursts of microwaves to locate people nearby named Ray. Wow, nobody needs that. Well, maybe we should talk about Cook My Salmon, the app that makes your phone so hot it can cook salmon which totally worked, it just drained your battery. And set your pants on fire. Really, guys? So, tell us how you first met. Well, it was like a million years ago. <laughs> no, it was 8.3 years ago. Cool. 8.3? You're talking nonsense. Nonsense? You're the king of nonsense. I am literally a hologram of positivity! <laughs> now, the vibe I'm going for here is everyone's got their own whatchamacallit. So, Tom, is there anything about Ben that gets on your nerves? Huh. Don't touch that! <laughs> Don't touch my computer screen! <laughs> now you're touching me! <laughs> now, who wouldn't want to watch that on TV? <laughs> That's it? I'm never going to work with you again! Ah! Hey, Tom. How's it going? Not so good. I don't think my video is good enough to convince the TV producers to give me a reality show. Then just turn it into a very special Christmas audition video. Would that work? Do you know that show, The Hermit Housewives of the Arid Islands? Sure, everyone does. They were almost canceled. And then they turned every episode into a very special Christmas special. Would that work for us? Don't ask me. Ask this guy. Somebody call Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Where did he come from? OK, Ginger, cue the snow and action. This season, children all over the world are going to be asking me for the same thing. Santa, they're saying. All I want is to see a reality show starring Talking Tom and his friends. Hey, what is this? It's a public service announcement for children who want me to get my own reality show. Kids watch enough TV. No, my show will be good. It'll be like a Christmas miracle. But I'm not sure if the TV producers will like it. Oh, what do you need a TV producer for? To make all my dreams come true? Ho, ho, ho! Good one, Tom. You don't need some outdated, washed-up TV producer to make your own reality TV show. I don't? No. All you need is a video camera, a computer, and a bunch of crazy goofball friends. <laughs> Which you definitely have. I do? Ho, ho, ho! Yes, you do! So just make the show yourself. I can do that! Thanks, Santa! This may be the best Christmas ever! ever. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way! Oh, what fun it is to be right in a one horse open sleigh! Hey, you take your luck! Come sing with us! Oh, what fun it is to be right in a one horse open sleigh!
Anybody see that, Angela? Until that awful singing stops, I'm staying right in here with you, confession camera. You're welcome. Santa! Santa! Oh, oh, oh. Santa, wait! You forgot my Christmas list! Ho, ho! Email me! Oh, okay. Ho, ho, ho! This is our year! We're gonna kill it at the, uh, the big contest thing. The big contest thing? I think you mean the So You Think You Can App App Design Contest. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, the winner of this contest gets a key to the famous Silicon Campus and the use of the best computers in the world. And a gigantic check! It's definitely the most important event of our career. And it's in a few hours. It would be good if Tom was, you know, prepared. Okay, so here's the plan. When they introduce me first, I'm gonna run across the stage with my hand to my ear like, I can't hear you! I can't hear you! <laughs> then I'll chicken walk to the side of the stage, but I'll go too far. See? Then when the audience is like, where is Talking Tom going? I'll spin around and moonwalk right back to center stage. <laughs> the only way we're going to kill it, which I take to mean win the contest, is if you make it sound like you actually understand the features of the app you'll be talking about. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Tom, give that back. Save the nerd speak for terms and conditions that nobody reads, okay? <laughs> Do you worry about a phone thief getting all of your private information? Well, your worries are over thanks to our new shockingly secure anti-theft app. Wait, Tom, don't turn it on! Here's how it works. <laughs> Tom, are you okay? Ow. Wow. Your voice! What's wrong with your voice? This app is... Shockingly effective. Welcome to Dr. Internet. This is the Internet. We could be anywhere. Don't try to find us. Please state your name and what's wrong. Um, oh, uh, uh my name is Talking Tom, and a uh, Ben tasered my neck hair. Ah! What? <laughs> this is your fault, Tom, not mine. Ben, settle down. Let the Internet doctor work. Well then, open wide and let's take a look. Uh, pew, 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 pew. pew. Uh, now, please hold while I make a diagnosis. In my ten years as an online doctor and four years of online medical school, I have never seen vocal cords this inflamed. Okay, well, what can we do to help him get better? I'm afraid there's not much you can do. He'll just have to stop talking for a week and let his vocal cords get better. Stop talking? <laughs> he can't! Today is the So You Think You Can App Fab Contest! Ooh, that's big time! I hear the winner of that gets a gigantic check! And a key to Silicon Campus! Can't I talk today? And then just not talk tomorrow? Uh. <coughs> you could, but if you do, you risk damaging your voice so badly that you may never talk again. <laughs> beep, beep, beep! Well, uh, what's that, nurse? Oh, time for my emergency uh, medical surgery thingy. Uh, gotta go. Boop. Surgery elevator going down to the surgery floor. Wow. He has his own surgery elevator. This was our year. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Don't talk. The doctor said don't talk or you could lose your voice forever. But I'm talking, Tom. I can't not talk. Have you ever tried? It's just a week of no talking. You can do it. Just drop mm -hmm. out of the competition. You'll get him next year. Next year? Do you really think I'm going to drop out of the So You Think You Can App App Contest? The biggest app contest of our careers? Yeah, you kind of have to. I mean, you did electrocute your partner. And he electrocuted himself. You listen up for once, Talking Tom. You told me something today, and you said it without words. Do you know what you said? You said, Ben... You can't really rely on me because I don't listen. Uh, I'm not finished! You know what else you said without saying a mm -mm. word? You said, Ben, 
I don't take our business seriously. So you better learn how to do this alone. <laughs> what? Did you just mumble, Ben, if you do the competition without me, you'll ruin our company because you're a terrible public speaker? Hmm. Well, since you can't talk and I can, I'd say right now I'm a better public speaker than you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a presentation to give alone by myself. <laughs> Don't worry, Tom. Angela is making something that will fix your voice, okay? Do you understand what I'm saying right now? He lost his voice, Hank, not his hearing. Oh. Tom, since you can hear me, I'm going to stop yelling at you, okay? My grandmother was a great healer. She had a home remedy that could cure anything. Hmm. Try this. You know what? It was my aunt who had all the home remedies. My grandmother was a chili pepper farmer and had a restaurant that served, um, chili peppers mostly. Hey, neighbor! You oh? don't mind if I borrow a few things, do you? Just say no if you don't want me to have it! Oh. Okay, thanks! Bye! Welcome to the third annual So You Think You Can App App Contest. Our data shows that there's no better way to nurture creativity in young minds than through competition and humiliation. And that's the reason we're here, for the competition and the humiliation. And to award one lucky team of app developers this key to my world famous Silicon Campus. Oh, and this gigantic check. Whoa. Look at the size of that. Anyway, let's get started and bring out the first app contestant. I feel like we should go to the contest and support Ben. So do I. What about you, Tom? I could tell part of Tom wanted to go support his friend, and part of Tom was being stubborn. We really needed someone to talk to. Welcome to the Internet Therapist. <laughs> That's me. Online since, what's today, Wednesday? Hey, aren't you the Internet Doctor? Hmm, interesting point. Uh, for now, though, let's focus on Tom's conflict, okay? Okay, I'm focused. Tom, are you angry at Ben? But you do still consider Ben your business partner. And would you expect him to share that gigantic check if he won the contest? Well, then you sound sane to me. Dr. Internet Therapist, your next patient is here. Oh, looks like our time is up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have urgent matters back at the asylum. <laughs> I don't know what made that person think they could app. Not a very good idea for an app at all, was it? Are you having as much fun as I am? Probably not, since I make more money in a minute than most of you will make in your whole life. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I think. Someone figure out how much I make in a minute. Meanwhile, let's welcome to the stage our next competitors, uh, Talking Tom and Ben. <sighs> let's see. I can't hear you. Wait, that card was out of order. Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> Wait, would you like to hear some interesting crime statistics related to mobile phone theft? I can't let them treat Ben like this. Don't wait! Tom, what are you doing? You can never tell how much you care about something until you realize it could be taken away from you. Then why are you talking? Because it's not my voice I'm worried about losing. It's you. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. We're partners. And I want you to know I'm here for you no matter what. Now let's win this thing. It's not worth it, Tom. I won't let you talk. Give it to hey, me. give me that. Give it to Tom. Me. No. 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 Okay, that's enough. Off my stage, both of you. Fine. 
Well, those two certainly can't app. I mean, what a total disaster, huh? I guess this is mine now, right? Finders keepers, right? <laughs> if there's anything I learned today, it's that Tom might be a lousy listener, but leftover soup, bon appetit. Oh, thank you. Like I was saying, Tom is a lousy listener, but he's also a reliable business partner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stop it. I know you're just trying to make me uncomfortable. <gasps> oh boy, soup! Just say no if you don't want me to have it! No! Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, mm -hmm. buddy! Tom, he's taking your soup. <laughs> <laughs> Too fast with the hot. <laughs> Big news, we finally released the big update on the Talking Bed app. Better late than never, right, Ben? Tom released it. It's not ready. Now there's so many angry customers, I don't have time to fix the bugs. We'll be fine. I got Hank to help with the customer service. What? You say the Bed app won't stop burping? I know how that is. <laughs> Just like the app. Now, what were you saying again? Hello? Hello? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The app won't even open? Well, if I were you, I'd call a complaint. Uh, yeah. I don't really understand technical junk, but maybe you can help me with a problem. See, I got this ingrown toenail. And that's why Hank is no longer helping out with customer service. What's this piece of junk? This is the solution to our sudden increase in customer service calls. Mm. Say hello to Gilbert. Gilbert? Why is it called that? It's named after the two guys who built it, Gil and Bert. Great. They were in such a hurry to get rid of it, they practically gave it to us. <laughs> I bet this was high tech back at the turn of the century. Let's see if Gilbert works. Hello, and welcome to customer service. How can I help you today? Yeah! Tech support. I think you said neck and spork. If this is correct, huh? press one. If this is not correct, press the asterisk, followed by the function key, followed Who by the Who has a function sign. key on their, what? Huh? I think you said, I don't have a function key. If this is correct, press the function key. <gasps> if this is not correct, press any diagonal sequence of buttons. Uh, 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 press it. Not yet. Wait until the tone. Aww. You waited too long. Goodbye. You told me to wait! <laughs> ah! Real cutting edge technology! No problem. We'll just have to program it to act more human. More human? Its prime directive is to answer questions with the correct answer. Humans are terrible at that. No, 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 no. Answering questions correctly isn't important. Then what is important? Being Friendly. Until you fix all the bugs in our app, we gotta give Gilbert a new prime directive, like don't let people go until they're your friend. Reprogram? That would require something like a, I, I don't know, a, a programming genius. Well, I understand if you can't mm -hmm. do it. Of course I can do it. Ah, yep, I did it. I programmed Gilbert with a string of empathy commands to achieve his prime what? directive. It should make him ultra congenial. Or, you know, as friendly as a computer can be. Hey there, I'm Gilbert. How can I provide you with excellent customer service today, my friend? Mm -hmm. The update, it keeps crashing and freezing. I hear you, buddy. That's pretty frustrating. Mm. We're working on a fix right now, bro. Meanwhile, can I tell you about the app's cool new features? Mm -hmm. The app has a whole new room filled with, well, I'll let you see what's in there yourself. Mm -hmm. Wow, Gilbert, I can't wait to check it out. Hey, before you go, can I just confirm that I provided you with friendly customer service? You know, actually, you were pretty friendly. Pretty friendly? No, man. Come on. Huh? I can't let oh. you go until I know we're friends. Y yes, we're definitely friends. I'll call you tomorrow. Did you see that? He followed protocol perfectly. Gilbert, I think you and I are going to get along just fine. Me too, Tom. 
I'll call you when the update is ready, my friend. If I can call you a friend. Oh, I can? <laughs> Great. Listen to me. You are a strong, confident... Gilbert has things under control. So what do you say we go out and have some fun? I'm still fixing bugs. Fine. Stay here and work. But I just told Angela to meet us at your favorite amusement park, the Enchanted Headache. <sighs> that does sound enjoyable. And I could use a break. Come on, <laughs> she's waiting for us. Having a nice day. Hey, who wants to ride a roller coaster? I can't wait to ride my first roller coaster with my friends. I will be like, woohoo. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. <laughs> Gilbert, you can't come with us. Why, Tom? Because <laughs> you're an answering machine. Oh. I think I get what you're saying. Okay, great. So, we're out of here, yeah? Oh, I can't let anyone go. Until we're friends. You know what I'm saying? Gilbert, Tom was just joking. We are all friends here. Ha 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 ha. Oh, friends joke around. I get it. I wasn't joking. Come on, get it! You can't talk to it like that. We have to make sure Gilbert thinks we're its friends. Now let me power uh, it off correctly so we I can... got a better idea. Tom, are you Don't trying to uh, unplug me? Oh, look, let us go, you stupid bucket of circuits! Those words were not friendly. Not friendly ah! at all. Look at this. It's all because you programmed Gilbert to be a nut job. Don't blame me. Hmm. We wouldn't be in a situation if you didn't want to cut corners and release my app before the bugs were worked out. Well, I'm sorry. I thought you were better at your job. Hi there. Ah! Hey, buddy, Tom wants to apologize for trying to unplug you before. Right, Tom? Yeah, you know what friends say. Forgive and forget. My voice detection software can tell you're just being funny and condescending. What? Come on. <laughs> That's ridiculous, Gilly. We're totally friends. No, Tom, we're not friends. That's why I'm going to reprogram you. Well, uh, reprogram me? How? Oh, just a little shock therapy, Tom. Here's a little quiz to see how much you know about me. First question, what's my favorite color? Blue? Ah! The correct answer is red. Oh, okay, not blue, red. Why are you shocking me? So you'll remember. That's actually true. An emotionally charged- ah! ah! Guys, <gasps> let me in! Oh, that's Angela. Hey, Gil, do you mind if I let her in? Not at all, Hank. Hey, We're you friends. Guys? Obviously. Oh, finally. Hank, why did you shut the door? It's chilly. Think you want to tell me where you were? Uh -huh. uh, we decided to stay in and hang out with our good friend, Gilbert. You see, his programming won't let us go until we're his friends. Uh -huh. Please help us. Give me a break. You can't be friends with a dumb answering machine. Whoa, dumb answering machine? Angela, I thought we were friends. Oh, sorry, Gilbert, I didn't mean to... Wait a second. Why am I apologizing to a talking flowchart? Uh-uh! Do not talk to my friend like that. See, Gilbert, we're defending you. That's what friends do for each other. Hey, guys, do you want me to just <gasps> unplug this thing? Ah! Dude, what is your problem? I can see I'm going to have to show you just how serious I am about my friends. Friends. Are you my friend? No, you must be destroyed. Are you my friend? Guys, what is going on? Ben programmed Gilbert to be a monster? What? No! Again, none of this would have happened Stop it, both of you! It's Gilbert who doesn't understand friendship, not you! What about you? Are you my friend? Angela's right. Expecting a computer to make friends with customers? I'm sorry, Ben. No, no, I should have known a computer can never be your friend. Which means Gilbert's prime directive is impossible. That's how we defeat him. Friends! Are you my friend? Okay, here's the idea. I don't have any friends. You must be destroyed. Welcome to customer service. How can I help you today? Uh, yes, I need some advice. There's this guy who I thought he was a friend, but now I don't think so. And why do you think he isn't your friend now? 
Well, you see, he forces people to hang out with him and take him places. Mm. And if they don't do what he wants, he no. even gets dangerous. Oh, man. You should eliminate them from your life. Because someone who acts like that is not a real friend. Oh, perfect. That's what I wanted to hear. Hey, before I let you go, can I confirm that we are friends? Um, no. You just told me not to. What? That guy I told you about? That guy was you! And now, Gilbert, I'm going to hang up on you. No, I can't let you go until you're my friend. But Gilbert, you yourself just told Angela not to be your friend. Yeah, how can you tell her to be your friend and also tell her not to be your friend? No, no fair. That's, that's a trick question. question. No, friends, friends, must be friends, friends until the end. That's a trick question. The old trick question kill switch. Thanks, Captain Kirk. <sighs> I finally released the bug fixes for my app. It was ready. We tested it. No more cutting corners. And everyone seems to like the new version. They love it. I should know. I answer the phones now. Hello, this is Tom, not a robot. How can I help you? Hello, I want to talk to my friend Gilbert. Gilbert? Oh, we got rid of that pile of junk. What? No more Gilbert! Did you know he was my friend? <laughs> uh. Hello, Gilbert. Are you my friend? Yes. And friends will do anything for each other, right? <laughs> Does anybody get the house like technology? Oh, I do. I do. So let me officially welcome you to the first annual Con Con You Con 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 Con. Wait, what did he say? Connected computer continually conceptualized conference and convention. Oh, the Con Con You Con 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 Con. Who's ready to have a good time? <laughs> <laughs> Now let me hear the leaders. Oh my. <laughs> the, they'll be here. <laughs> and now, please welcome our guests of honor, Steve Hobbs and Steve Bossier. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Hey, folks. Good to see this guy. Look at him. Steve Bosniak. <gasps> the two biggest tech developers on the planet. And their best friends. Who? Started out in a garage. Just like us. Yeah. As you probably know, the first computer was a useless box. It had a lot of potential, but we had no way to access it. Well, then late one night, Steve and I were sharing a soda pop at the garage when suddenly it hit us. I said, Boz, what if there was a way to turn this computer on? Then I said, what if there was a way to turn this computer off? Six years and a lot of sleepless nights and a ton of R&D later, we had it. The computer on-off switch. Whoa. Fun fact, it was originally called the off-on switch. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we did it by following this pyramid of friendship. They really are just like us. We gotta sneak backstage and introduce ourselves. Definitely, you read my diary. Wait, what? Mm, great hiding spot. I can't wait to see their faces when they find out we snuck backstage to meet them. Oh yeah, famous people love when fans jump out at them. Are they here yet? Mm -hmm. Huh? I can't see, there's two guys blocking my view. Who are you guys? <laughs> Sorry, we're huge fans. We wanted to ask if you had any secret advice that you might not tell an audience, but you would tell to two young inventor friends working out of a garage. <laughs> if that rings a bell. Oh, I get it. You two think you're just like us. You think you're me, and you think you're Bosniak. Wait a minute, why is that guy me? Why can't I be the other guy? Oh, come on, Steve. It doesn't matter who's who. Of course it doesn't matter because you get to be that guy. Why well, I'm so sick of this whole thing. Whoa, whoa, what about the pyramid of friendship? Thanks for the reminder. Now, Steve, I just want to... Becoming your partner was the worst decision I ever made! You ruined my life! 
No, you ruined my life! Uh, Steve, you drive me crazy! I'm done! I've had it! Everyone loves Angela! La 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 la! Can you keep mm -hmm. it down? I can't hear myself playing! Ginger, the world doesn't revolve around you! No, no it doesn't! Not yet anyway! I'm trying to write a new song, a smart song. One that will make people think. What rhymes with dance, dance, dance? Um, educational grants, elephants, romance. That's it! I like to dance, dance, dance. Educational grants, grants, grants. Ah, it practically writes itself. If we are just like Hobbs and Bosniak, we're gonna end up hating each other, just like they do. Uh, well, uh, calm down, buddy. We don't know that for sure. But we don't not know that for sure either. Oh, no. You're right. What if the future is locked in and we aren't destined to be friends forever? To, to the, the Future Tron! Tron. <laughs> the Future Tron is an app that I've been working on that uses metadata to show the future. And I came up with the name Future Tron 6000. Hurry up! Turn this Hurry on up. and put that in there and hold on tight! Thank you! It is an honor to receive the Tech Star of the Year Award! Hey, we're really successful in the future. And we're still best friends. This is a truly remarkable moment for me and the person who inspires me. I'm talking about the man upstairs, my boss, the CEO! The man who said to me, Ben, you don't need a partner. You can be successful all on your own. Uh, hey, do me a favor. Throw this in the limo with the rest of my trophies and uh, bring me a coffee when you come back. I'm sick of this. We were supposed to be partners and now you just take all the credit. That's because I do all the work. Oh yeah? We'll work on this. Ah! I will show you! You ruined my life! No! You ruined my life! It's even worse than Hobbs and Bosniak. You're successful, and I'm not. Well, that's not a surprise. The scary thing is we weren't friends in the future. How could this happen? It must be that our future friendship is ruined because our current friendship isn't strong enough. Well, tell me there's a way to fix this. Maybe. Nah, it's too crazy. What is it? We have to engage in one-on-one -on -one friendship building activities with music playing in the background. Oh boy, a friendship montage. Well, all the best sitcoms have them. <laughs> Golf! <laughs> <laughs> yep, still best, best friends. friends. <laughs> ooh, ooh. What are you two ding dogs doing? Get back to work. Sorry, Mr. Ginger. Yes, sir, Mr. Ginger. Don't apologize. I should really thank you two. You were so focused on your friendship that you completely mismanaged your company and had to sell it to me. Sir, you're late for your two o'clock. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting with a giant pile of money. Don't forget to laugh maniacally, Mr. Ginger. Oh, thank you, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe this. The future where we're friends was even worse than the future where we weren't friends. I don't even know where to start this time. I do. <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe you let this happen, Ben. Me? But what happened? You ruined our business. I was trying to save our friendship. Well, friendship doesn't pay the bills, Ben. All right, break it up. 
Don't you see? You're arguing about things that haven't even happened yet. You're letting the future Tron drive you apart in the present. She's right. Look at what we're doing. But what are we supposed to do? Just sit on the couch, watch TV, and not think about anything except how good our cereal tastes? Hmm. Hey, the crumbs have the same taste as the big pieces. A future where we all live like Hank. <laughs> what would that even look like? Hey, guys, let's try not to forget. We have to go to our book signing tonight, okay? Right. Should we take the supersonic jet or the helicopter? Let's compromise and take the supersonic heli jet. Oh, that's why you're the idea man. Angela, great to see you. Great to see you, Tom. Well, hey. And you, Ben. And especially you, honey. Missed you more. <laughs> it's not easy to go a whole morning without seeing the best wife in the universe. Oh, Hank. No! No, 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 no. What are you doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm doing you a favor. I'm doing all of us a favor. Everything we did to make the future better just ended up ruining the present and it didn't even make the future better. I think I know what you're saying here. We need to create a future Tron 6001. No, enough is enough. Look, maybe we can make the future better. Maybe we can, but let's all just enjoy today. No more trying to change the future. So now what do we do? Well, sometimes our TV shows, after the characters learn their lesson, the final scene is just dancing and celebrating. Really? A big dance scene that just comes out of nowhere? Well, that seems a bit ridiculous. Hey, Ben, ready with that app for Angela? God, this stupid computer is being stupid again. You can't remember your own password? I thought you were an expert. I am an expert, which is why I made my password completely uncrackable. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Let me get in there. Tom, 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 there's no way you'd ever be able to crack your way in. There are more possible password combinations than there are stars in the galaxy. Let me see, if I were Ben... Kayak. Hey, Ben, how old are you? 22. Why? Kayak 22. I'm in! Hey, Angela, how's the crowd there? You find any terrible singers yet? I don't think that'll be a problem. Here, listen for yourself. Great. Start the show, and I'll be there ASAP. <laughs> OK, Angela's about to start, guys, so let's hurry up and get this demo video done. Ready when you are. What is it? The most awesome app ever created. Really? You made it make strawberry banana smoothies? Mm. Mm -hmm. No, it's the Sing Like a Pro app. Now, it'll take even the most bland, non-musical voice and make it sound like an angel. Mm. Ben, say something. Are you, you saying my voice, voice is bland, bland boring, boring, and dramatic? How dare you? A glass-breaking app! Brilliant! <laughs> Just stand over there and read the words on the card. Tom and Angela's Sing Like a Pro demonstration video. Take one. Probably not going to work. Welcome to Tom and Angela's Sing Like a Pro app. OK, cut, cut, leaf blower. Let's try that again. Take two. Welcome to Tom and Angela. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome to the. <sighs> Welcome. Ah! Mm. Ooh. 
Someone should go say something. Agreed. I think that someone should be you. Me? Why me? I'm the brains. You're the mouth. That is so true. But what if he gets all mad, like, You have a problem with me doing my job? I, he may want to fight us or something. Hmm. Maybe we can get someone to go out and ask him to be quiet. But who? You know, if this were an episode of a sitcom like Dr. Professor and the Surfing Ghost, their clueless friend would pop in right about oh. now and they'd just make him do it. Too bad you guys don't know anyone like that. <laughs> hmm. What? Pardon me, Mr. Gardner, sir, if you got... But we were trying to shoot something, so if you... Uh, sir? Could you excuse me? Um, he wasn't listening. We need to try another approach. I've got it. Just hack into the leaf blower's engine and shut it down. You know, with the internet and stuff. <laughs> Tom, Tom, Tom. Leaf blowers don't typically have internet access. But I guess I could tap into the city Wi-Fi and direct it at the engine's spark plug. Huh? Huh? Yeah! We did it! Now let's hurry up and finish this commercial before something else starts. And action. Welcome to Tom and Angela's... What is with that guy? Thank you! Is everyone having a good time? Who out there would like to be the first one to test my new what else could we do to make this guy be quiet? We've tried everything. I guess this is our life now. Excuse me, sir. You're a Will you please turn it off? Whoa. Did you see that? Are we so lame that a seven-year-old is better at talking to adults than we are? Next time, we feel intimidated. We shouldn't hide and hope the problem goes away. We should be direct hmm. and assertive hmm. and build some kind of app that makes people do what we want. Hmm. An app that makes a person more assertive is an interesting idea. An assertive app. Uh -huh. I know. I could reprogram our dumb singing app to make us sound more authoritative. That's something. Hmm. Wait. I feel yeah. like we're forgetting something. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Nah. <laughs> Where are you all going? Uh, I'm sure they'll be here soon. Just wait a few more minutes. Uh, it'll be worth it. Tom and Ben didn't show. I'm going to have to have a talk about manners next time I see them. Just one more. Voila! Introducing the assertive app. The first app that transforms fear and insecurity into confident commands that will be obeyed. So, if I were to say... Ben! Get me some strudel juice! It works! I couldn't resist your command. Your voice was so... Assertive? Yeah. Beta test! Ginger, drop and give me ten push-ups! <laughs> Attention mail carrier! I want my letters folded into paper airplanes and thrown through the window! No junk mail! Sorry! <laughs> okay, okay, um... Feed me a cake! It actually only works if you use it on a person, Hank. <laughs> uh, too bad. Does it cake sound so good right now? Eh? Mmm. <laughs> Bake us a time! <laughs> that thing's gonna make us rich. Ah, it just doesn't get any better than Did this, does it? <laughs> tell me where you were? Angela! Oh, we totally forgot. You forgot? Yeah, you see, I had such a genius app idea that... That you thought it was okay to abandon your friend? But no, you couldn't call or text or send an email. Angela, I command you to forgive Tom! <laughs> and refill my strudel juice! Uh, get it yourself! Angela, wait! Angela, wait! Huh. Huh? Uh. Why did that thing work on Angela? Hmm. I guess it's possible Angela's musical brainwaves are so strong. Uh -huh. The tables have 
turn! Hey, put that down! It's not a toy! Candy! Candy! <laughs> <laughs> You got your candy. Now hand it over. Oh, I have a better idea. Build me a chat pack. <laughs> oh, chat pack. They started it. You were right. <sighs> I should have called or sent a text. Or shown up like you said you would? Well, we were going to, but then we came up with a new app that, can you keep a secret? Might just make the world a better place. Let's <laughs> judge the people of the world. Of course, there's still a few kinks that we need Wait! to work out. Take out the raisins! Huh? That doesn't count as candy! Raisins are through! Bring me candy! <laughs> we have to get that thing away from Ginger! <sighs> hey, what about Angela? Me? Yeah, Angela. Your musical brainwaves are so strong that they somehow nullify all the authority out of the assertive app. Or you're just strong-willed and independent. Ben's not Stop! sure. Stop! Bring me candy now! No way, Ginger! Yeah! I'm gonna... Okay, fine. Angela, you may be the only one who can stop him. I'm kind of busy right now. Angela, you're too clean. Go dump a book of dirt on your head and wash your hair in the toilet. <laughs> you think you can boss me around? Let's see you come down here and try it. Hey, something's wrong. <laughs> and that's the last thing you'll ever order me to do. Mic drop! I admit it, I'm not perfect. If I had to do it all over again, I would have eaten the candy faster. Let's take it from the top. Tom and Angela's Sing Like a Pro app take 47. Welcome to Tom and Angela Sing Like a Leaf Blower! What? Fine, I'll do it. But only if Hank cleans up my mess for me. <laughs> Phew! Better you than me, Hank. <laughs> Wait a minute. Aw, <laughs> uh, okay. The Kitazi Derby. It's more than a horseshoe tournament. It's neighbors dueling in the sand pit on hot summer days. It's a competition with stakes as high as the temperatures of the sizzling grill. It's a winner-take-all battle for the rights to operate the neighborhood vending machine. But this year, a new team is poised to win the cup. With Ben's secret throwing equation and Tom's natural throwing skills, the team has pitched their way to the finals and now stand ready to dethrone the reigning champs. It's Ginger and the Gardener versus Tom and Ben. According to my calculations, we can't be beat. Hmm. <laughs> ah, all right. The Kentasi Derby Finals, tomorrow, my yard. Wow, did Ben really come up with a math equation to win at horseshoes? Oh, no big deal. Just a matter of figuring out the exact calculations for air resistance, gravity, and velocity. Once you have that, it's easy to pitch the perfect distance. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Actually, it is a big deal. To develop my horseshoe equation, I had to solve a problem posed by Sir Isaac Newton that no one could figure out for over 300 years. Whatever. The important thing is you're finally using your brains for something useful. <laughs> Defeating Ginger and horseshoes! Yeah, uh... Where are you leaving me hanging, Ben? Well, it looks like news of my horseshoe equation is out. The professors at the University of Science and Technology have invited me to help them conduct an experiment. Whoa, congratulations! Hey, that's awesome. There's just one problem. It's at the same time as the finals of the horseshoe tournament. Well, I'm sure there will be other university experiments. Wait, you want me to turn down this opportunity so I can play horseshoes? Uh, kinda. Is that wrong? 
This is a chance for me to build a name for myself, to be recognized as a great thinker by other great minds. Who cares what these university types think? You don't belong there anyway. You're, you're one of us. Sorry, Tom. When the university calls, the scholar answers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must find my lab coat. I feel so naked. Mm, tough break. You losing your partner at all? Yeah, looks like we'll win again. These electrolyte-filled drinks will remain in our control another year. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> ah! Thank you for coming in and helping us with this experiment. We couldn't do this work without brave folks like you. Well, with all the gifts I've been given, the least I can do is give something back to science. Oh, is that my desk? <laughs> wow! So, tell me about the work we're doing here. Okay. In this lab, we study something called electromagnetic fields. Or EMF. Ben, can you say EMF? <laughs> You're talking to a guy who just solved Newton's 300-year-old horseshoe equation. So, yeah. I think I know what EMFs are. Very good. Since you seem so smart, I guess we can go into a little more detail about what we're doing here. But we'll have to tell you from the other room, if that's okay. No problem. My own office in a real research lab. Ben, you're finally where you belong. Okay, Ben. Here's what we do in this laboratory. Our previous experiments have shown that exposure to electromagnetic fields created by Wi-Fi and cell phones is completely harmless. Uh, that's not exactly true. It really depends on the strength of the signal and whether... Shh. Completely harmless. So, since those EMFs are completely harmless, what about exposure to really, really, really strong EMFs? Wouldn't it be cool to see what they do to people? Uh, I know I'm the new guy here, but that's not really how science works, is it? Sure it is. Hey, hey what are those for? Oh, uh, we're blasting you with electromagnetic energy. Uh, what kind? Oh, all kinds. Is this how you treat all of your guest scientists? Guest scientists? You don't even have a university degree. You're a test subject. What on earth made you think you were a guest a scientist? Uh, this letter you sent me? <laughs> <laughs> we send that letter out to everyone. <laughs> now, the trick is to throw it straight and get it as close to the stake as you can. Yes. Whoa. Now you try. Okay. Ben! You're home! This is great! How is the, uh, experiment? Great. They said they couldn't do it without me. Then what are you doing home already? Oh, who cares? The important thing is you're here! Just in time to win the Kadasi Derby! I'm not playing horseshoes. Why not? You seem angry. They didn't fire you, did they? Of course not! My colleagues at the lab have asked me to do some home research. Ever since you went away to college, you've changed, man. Whoa! Changed. You can say that again. I'm off! Blasting me with electromagnetic radiation like I'm some kind of test subject. What is that supposed to even do? Stop! Keys. Ben! Would you mind closing the garage door? Ooh, that's not good. Ben? You found my keys! I mean, are you okay? Yes. No! I need you to reverse my polarity. That's disgusting. I'm a magnet! Look, it's simple. Just get some copper wire and some cobalt. No, make that nickel. Actually, Get any rare earth metal you can find, then coil the wire. Or I could just do this. No! Oh! Ow. Shut up no. and oh. stop fighting! I'm not! I'll go get Tom. No! Do not tell Tom about this. Don't tell me what. Whoa! 
No! Yeah, Ben's a magnet. A magnet? Did the university do this to you? No! I don't want to talk about it. Hey, losers! First pitch is in five minutes! It's time to come out and accept your inevitable defeat. Accept it! <laughs> We're gonna go. Go out and play, Tom. Maybe you can beat them without me. Well, I don't want to beat them without you. We're a team. And I'm sorry I wasn't more supportive of your science thing. No, you were right. I don't belong at that university. You're the smartest guy I know. You belong wherever you want. Yes, I'm very, very intelligent. But they treated me like some sort of animal to do tests on. Who cares what they think? They're the lab animals. Working in some boring lab, being told what to do, but you followed your heart instead of your head, and you're better off for it. I do have the freedom that they'll never have. Definitely. And I'll never have to blast anyone with electromagnetic energy. We're already bathing in it all day. Now, how do we get you unstuck? I don't know. The more I struggle, the stronger the magnetic pull gets. And the more I relax, the weaker it gets. Okay, then you just have to relax. That shouldn't be too hard. Yes! Relax! I'll try that! It's not working. You're relaxing too hard. Try unclutching your butt cheeks. Uh, ben, when you're really tense, you walk like this. I don't walk like that, do I? So, maybe if you relax the biggest muscles you have, your whole body will relax. That makes no sense, Hank. Just do it, Ben. Well, okay. Hey, you're right. The more I relax, the less magnetic I get. And the more I clench, the more magnetic I get. Ben, if you learn to control your magnetic powers, you can be a superhero. Yes! Hey, losers! Uh, oh, Come man. on, lose! Or at least win the Kentossi Derby. Yeah, let's start with that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Prepare to feel the magnetic powers of both! Horseshoe! Ben's control over his anger and his magnetic powers was short-lived. So the Derby Cup and the rights to the neighborhood vending machine remained in the hands of the current champions. Ah! And Ben was revived and demagnetized by the electrolytes in his favorite sports drink. Yes! With the certainty of gravity pulling a swirling metal shoe back to Earth, you can count on Ben and Tom to return next year, ready to battle for the right to be called Kintossi Derby Champions! Who's the good-looking guy turning all the heads tonight at the scarf party? Tom. <laughs> That's right, talking about Tom. Whoa, not everyone can pull off a red scarf. Its warm color brings out my cool stuff. Check style. it out. It took all night, but my new app is finally good. Oh, oh. Ah, not in the toilet, not in the... Ah, in the toilet. <gasps> finally, one of Ben's inventions is right where it belongs. Ah. <laughs> ah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. I know, it's like, gosh, what's my best runway angle? No, I mean... Left, right, over the shoulder, up the nose? Tom, be serious. This is a big opportunity for me. This isn't just some scarf fashion show. This is the Scarf Spectacular Runway Nectacular. I don't know if you know this, but the scarf industry is so hard to break into. And every year at the SSRN, you know, the Nectacular, all the scarfies give one newcomer a chance to show their scarves to the world. And this year... I am that newcomer. Tom! Angela, relax. I'm here for you. I'm actually here for the party. And this party has everything. Shrimp free. Punch free. <laughs> Cocktail wieners surprisingly expensive. Just kidding. Those are free too. Hmm. 
I have to get ready, so please don't embarrass me. Just try to act like you belong here. Don't worry, I'm just gonna scarf down some shrimp. <gasps> scarf down some shrimp? Angela, did you hear what I just said? Scarf? And she thought yeah. I was gonna embarrass her. <laughs> Still not working, huh? Nope. So what's the problem? The cloud storage matrix? No, you think, but what's really causing the main issue the is... The cross-platform integration! Well, it's more than that. It's actually... The response sequencing loop? Oh, get out of the way, I'll fix it! Go right ahead. I could use a laugh. <laughs> For starters, you'll never be able to bypass the base matrix. You have to bypass the yeah. base Wait, matrix. how did you do that? I mean, beginner's luck. Well, no, 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 the food is for guests. Guests only. What? I'm a guest? <laughs> How could you get invitation? You're wearing your scarf backwards. I know. Now you wear it sideways. This is truly embarrassing for you. Embarrassing? Don't embarrass me. You're right. This is embarrassing for you. You've obviously never heard about the backwards with the sideways shift scarf trend. I don't know. I have heard of all of these fashions. Of course I have. Well, then you obviously know who I am. I'm Tom of Tom's Scarf Productions. I'm head scarf producer. Scarf deucer. You are a scarf deucer? Couldn't say it if it wasn't true. Ooh, let me pick into your brain. What fabric makes best fringe for you? Well, it's hard to say. Yeah, yeah, it is hard to say. This is the biggest debate in the scarf community for years. You know, to me, it isn't even about the fabric anymore. It's the whole scarf experience. Scarf experience? Ooh. Yes, yes. I, I pretty much want to use Ooh. the technology to break down all scarf limitations. I'm talking about an app oh. that will allow you to try on every scarf ever invented, and even scarves that haven't been invented. No limitations. No limitations, no walls, no boundaries. The scarves can go anywhere. That's why it's called the Infinite Closet. Oh, yes, this is perfect. I must take you to my superior. I heard everything. And I love it! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I can't believe it. It's like, how nervous am I? I mean, singing on stage is one thing, but talking on stage about scarves? It's like so totally different. All I know is you're gonna do great because your scarves are great. My neck's been warm all night and I didn't even embarrass you once. Everything's going great. <gasps> oh. Hmm. Attention scarfies, stop what you're doing. Huh, that's a familiar voice. We have a very special guest tonight. I'd like to introduce a young visionary <laughs> who I believe will revolutionize the next statement industry. Angela? Stay where you are. You're not the huh? newcomer of the year anymore. Tom! Huh? Come to the stage, darling! Earlier tonight, Tom pulled me aside and told me about his brilliant new infinite closet. No, no, what? no, I didn't pull. There was no pull. No. Look, I think there's been a mistake. Yes, there has been a mistake. For years now, closets have been finite. Right. Can I just explain? You can explain at 9 a.m. in my office on the first day of your scarfenship. Oh, how Angela. could you? Angela, wait. All I wanted to do was show my scarves and spread my message. Cool style and warm necks for everyone. And then you had to go and blow up my spot. Angela, I'm sorry. I never blow up your spot on purpose. I don't know how I became the hit of the party. People just love me, I guess. Ah, oh, Tom, you are such a- Look, I have a meeting with Autumn Summers tomorrow, and she wants to hear about the infinite closet. Which, first of all, has nothing to do with me, and second of all, the app doesn't even exist. Yet. But I already have it all figured out in my head. Ugh. Seriously, it will be an app all about your scarves. Ugh. Angela's infinite closet. Warm necks are one swipe away. Ignore that last part. We can work on that later. No, that's great. That actually doesn't sound that bad. That's what I meant. Genius, right? No, not at all. Now I just need to make the app. All right, so infinite closet. Can you do it? 
Can? Well, yes, of course I can. Great. So just let me know when you're done and we'll But be... I don't think I should. I can't just bail you out every time you make a mistake. You'll never learn your lesson. Sounds to me like someone doesn't know how to make an infinite closet app. Do too. I just don't want to keep enabling Tom's bad habits. I like to encourage him to fix his mistakes. I call that ben-abling. Call it what you want. All I hear is a guy that doesn't want to reuse the existing framework of an app he already has to help his friend. What? I mean, yes, I could do it, but I would have to go back and reskin it. And you don't know how. Don't know how? I'll show you who doesn't know how. Watch this. Nice work. You know I like candy, right? Huh? Are you sure this is gonna work? Absolutely. Tom, darling, welcome to my palace of scuspiration. So glad you could be here. Uh, who are you? Uh, Angela? I was supposed to be the newcomer of the year? Rhetorical. Tom, I'm dying to hear your presentation. I completely cleared my schedule for the next seven minutes. Take me to the infinite closet. Infinite closet. That's exactly what I have. It's an app with every scarf you could possibly imagine. But for the presentation, I'd like to turn things over to Angela, the real genius behind the idea. Thanks, Tom. Scarves. They light up our necks. They provide us with something special, something extraordinary. Angela's Infinite Closet will bring affordable scarves to billions of people all around the world. Finally, scarves can be for everyone! Everyone? Tom, what is this? Uh, Angela's Infinite Closet? No, no, no! Scarves are not for everyone! If everyone had a scarf, how would we be able to tell the cool people from the... Ugh, oh, normals! Uh, um, did you just say normals? Sorry, I meant to say ordinary, regular normals. Hey, some of my best friends are ordinary, regular normals. It's okay, Tom. Autumn Summers, you know what? We don't want to sell our scarves here. Go ahead and keep your lame scarf spectacular. <gasps> it's a necktacular! I know what I said. Come on, Tom. We're out of here. <laughs> and another thing. Despite what just happened here, I just want to say that you put on a lovely event and the food table was first rate. See you again next year. Uh, no we won't, Tom. No we won't. Wait, what? Why not? Because we're gonna sell our scarves on our own terms. You'll never warm a neck again! Ah, it's the end of fashion as we know it! All right, Ben, music up. We're yes. hauling heat in three, two, one. Come on, Hank, work it! Yeah! Thought you'd never ask. Are you wearing that scarf or is it wearing you? I got this. Yeah, Hank, that's what I'm talking about. Look at him, he's smoldering. It's working! Orders are off the hook! Everybody wants your scarves! Yeah. No way! That's awesome! Woo. We did it! Yeah! <laughs> We're gonna be so we scarf and we rich! It. We did it. <laughs> yeah, if we were charging for him. Wait. You wanted me to charge for the scarves? We're live streaming. Ahem. Hello, Flapsters. Ben here. Welcome to today's edition of How to Be Less Lame at My Game. <laughs> this is Hank. <laughs> Hank is a complete novice. <gasps> Hank, yes. will you confirm for everyone that you've never played the game Flappy Talking Tom? Yeah, only because you've never let me. Woo! Hank, focus. Ow. Now I'm going to show you and our viewers how to succeed in this game. Well, maybe not succeed, but at least enjoy your certain failure. <laughs> okay. Hank, are you ready to flap? I'm ready, Ben. Off we go. Let's flap! <laughs> okay, Hank. Begin whenever you're ready. Hmm? In a way, Flappy Talking Tom is a metaphor for life. At 
first it seems like you're always getting knocked to the ground. But if you keep trying, eventually you'll start to make it past the few minor obstructions. Oh, like this? Yes, just like... Hey! How did you do that? How did you not do that? These first columns are easy. <laughs> yes, that's true. They were set up to give you a... Uh, a false sense of achievement. Now the game will get harder, so be sure to think about what's coming at you and don't take your eyes off the screen, not even for a second. Oh, hey, Angela, did you see that rerun of Coffee Shop Pals last night? That was a good one. Ooh, I did, it was- Angela, please. This is a serious game. It requires complete concentration. Hey, look, I'm flying. Now, when Hank crashes here any second now, I'll give you an inside tip you'll need to know to get past this impossible part that nobody- What? No, 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 no! No, no. No, 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 no one is this good their first time! Game over. Woo! That was amazing! And hilarious! Hank's better than you and he wasn't even trying! Can we cut, <laughs> cut the feed? Yeah. Hmm. Sorry, Bed. I guess I'm just way better than you. Where did you get oh, the God. source code? <laughs> you cheated! Oh. I know you cheated! Cheated? I just did this with my finger. Then your finger cheated! Ah, break it up, break it up. Who gave you the code? <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh? Yeah! Um. <laughs> It's just a high score on a video game. What's the big deal? It's not just a high score, it's my whole worldview. I'm a thinking man, Tom. If someone like Hank can beat me without even trying, why bother being intelligent at all? I'll tell you what, since this is bothering you so much and it is embarrassing for our company, we'll take the video down. Hey guys, the clip of Ben yelling at Hank just hit a million views. Like I said, we'll keep that video up because there's no such thing as bad publicity. Yes, there is. So here's the plan. You versus Hank. A flappy talking Tom showdown, live on the internet. We'll call it the Barrage in the Garage. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, Hank, the greatest natural talent to ever press a screen, takes on Ben, a former champion, a genius among smart people, in an app battle to determine the heavyweight championship of the Everybody, it's me, Talking Tom, and with me always is Angela. Welcome to the Barrage in the Garage. And who could forget the last clash of these two tapping titans? It looks like we're about ready to start here, so let's go down to the referee for the official countdown. And the Barrage in the Garage is underway. Ben takes an early lead. While Hank seems to have wandered off somewhere. <gasps> Pretty risky gameplay from Hank. We'll see how it plays out. <laughs> Novice. Yeah. Pretty basic three-tier pie play out so far. Ah. Nothing a simple swinging arc can handle. You got this, Ben. Ah. 
And I think it's gonna be kinda hard to eat a sandwich and play the game at the same time. Wait a second, Tom. He's going through the first column. And the second. And the third. Wow, what a game! Could Hank actually catch up to Ben and prove he's top dog? And speaking of dogs, we invite our viewers to enjoy a delicious, let's be frank, hot dog. They snap when you bite them just like a hot diggity dog should. Right, Angela? <sighs> Whatever you say, Tom. Now let's get back to the match. Right. It looks like Hank is still eating a sandwich. And now he's switching hands to get a better hold. And somehow he is still going. Oops. Hey, Ben, did you see that? The tomato saved my life. <laughs> what? That is not how you play my game. No! Ooh, looks like Ben will be starting over from zero. Gotta hurt. <sighs> Let's hear what the fans are saying. <laughs> Here's a good one. Ben, you are the worst player ever. Oh, and this one. Ben, Hank is gonna beat you at your own game. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Uh, this game is impossible! <laughs> no, it's easy. You go over the bottom columns and under the top columns. No, that's not how you do it. Well, that's how I do it. You have to look for patterns and remember what worked the previous times you saw that pattern. You have to study and prepare and think about what you're going to do next. Think? Yes! Ah! <sighs> okay then, calm down and focus. Science must prevail. Okay, Ben is back at it. His start is great, and his flight path is steady and well thought out. But somehow Hank is still eating and winning. Okay? Uh, Flappy Hank? No! Uh, ben, you won! I did? Yeah, you did! You're the champion! I am? How did you do it? Well, Tom, it was just a matter of my precision, my intellect, my planning, and trusting in the intelligence of the mind. Wow. Ben, how does that feel? Well, I'm happy about the victory, but putting the high score hmm. so far out of reach, well, that was the real achievement. <laughs> no, I mean, how does it feel to have your high score broken so quickly? I say what now? Seconds ago, another gamer playing live just shattered your record. What? Who? It's me. I'm Ginger. I'm the best. Number one. Oh, yeah. I did it. Here he is now, your new champion. How did you do it? I've got to know. Yes, how did you do it? Did you use the power of thought like Ben, or did you clear your mind like Hank? Neither. The game's just easier for me because I have small fingers. <sighs> well, I quit forever. Yeah, me too. Tap, press, press, press. Tap, tap, press. Press, press, tap. I'm excited. Angela's show is gonna be the greatest musical event since the first caveman banged two rocks together. That's even greater than when a different caveman invented the bone flute. Way greater. Ooh, did you bring the Angela concert t-shirts? Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Hank, the design, it's gone. I know, weird, right? Did you know that when you're washing shirts, you don't have to use the entire bottle of bleach? I do. Now? How can these be Angela Concert t-shirts if they don't even have Angela on them? <laughs> Whatever. At least we can still sell the glow sticks. Glow sticks? Oh, you mean the candy tubes. Oh! Uh, This first song is by 
about a cool party I heard about. Anyways, this is one of my favorites. One, two, three! Yesterday, but my invitation says today. Excuse me. Huh? Singer? I'm sorry, but could you keep it down? My baby is trying to sleep. Okay, but I mean, if you wanted it to be quiet, then why did you come to a concert? Oh, so you think because we've got babies, we're supposed to stay cooped up in the house all day? No, 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 no. I just mean, since I'm all set up, don't you want me to rock this street? Ugh, quietly, maybe. Ugh. Thank you. My name is Angela. Rock on. No rules. Party? Music? Huh. Tom! Uh, what the? Hey, that was a quiet show, but I really liked what I was able to hear. Uh, why do I even do gigs like this? They do nothing for my career. Good question, Angela. Angela, why do you do gigs like this? It's the stupid manager app Ben made me. It's worthless. Hey, Angela, you really rocked it today at the a a Afternoon Street Show. Mm. Last week, I sang on a garbage boat for a bunch of birds. I think this app just picks random spots and tells me their concerts. <sighs> well, did you at least sell some t-shirts? Yeah, the shirts. Um, I had a little laundry malfunction, but my cool sketch saved the day, I think. Uh, that doesn't even look like me. Of course not. It's you if you were a hot dog. Uh, no! I am not a hot dog, and I don't surf! I sing! <gasps> Five photos of out-of-control Angela flipping out. Have you seen this? Uh-oh. Out of control? Do I seem out of control to you? Well, do I? No. Well, not to me. No. Well, maybe just a little. Ow! It is so not fair. I flipped one table and now my music career is over? Your career's not over. People who appreciate talent like me will come watch you rock every street in the neighborhood. And I'll watch you on every garbage boat in the sea. Aw, thanks, you guys. <sighs> who even took these pictures? Yeehaw! Ride up, cowboy! I did. Those are nothing. I saved the really crazy pics for the bigger websites. What? Ginger, why would you do this to me? Uh, I think what you mean is, why did I do this for you? Oh, what's this now? Angela's number 20 on ClickFeed's hot new celebrity list. Wow. Cool. Read the comments. Wow, these are all good. Listen to this one. Angela is my idol. Here's a link to one of her songs. I know what I'm doing. And as your new manager, huh? I have a plan to get you to the top of the hot new celebrity list. You can't be my manager. You're seven. Plus, Angela already has a manager. Oh, you mean this thing? Wait, don't delete me. Wait, oops. Congratulations, Ooh. Ginger. Oh, yeah. You've just become my yeah. image consultant. Hi, everyone. I'm Brenda Blake with the ClickFeed Hot New Celebrity List. Hot New Celebrity Angela flipped out again, this time at a charity poker event. Turning the tables on these crooked card counters takes Angela up to number 15 on our hot new celebrity hot new list. I don't know why you even want to be on that list. It doesn't have anything to do with talent. It's just about drawing attention to yourself. But the higher my name goes on that list, the bigger my fan base, and the more people who could possibly learn about my singing talent. The people who make that list don't care about singing talent. Oh, they will. After we take it to the next level. Ooh, huh? what's the next level? A boyfriend! A boyfriend? Yeah, you know, on again, off again, dates, kissing in public. These shows love drama. A boyfriend has nothing to do with being a singer. Do you see what happens when you listen to Ginger? And that boyfriend should be played by Tom. He comes up with some pretty great ideas. I will do it. Ah, oh, Thank you so much for coming on this fake date with me, Tom. You're welcome. And, uh, and, and we don't need to, to keep calling it a, a fake date. Right. Let's make this look real. I like real. Tom? Yes, Angela? I know things have been crazy lately with my singing career. What singing career? 
You haven't been up on stage since you ripped up all those t-shirts. This isn't how I'd normally act, and Ginger isn't someone I'd normally listen to. But hey, it's working. If getting famous is your only goal, then sure, I, I guess Ginger's plan is working. I just think you're talented enough to get famous for your music. Oh, thanks, Tom. So, uh, do you think we can pull off a believable fake kiss? <gasps> There's only one way to find out. Ginger, what are you doing? I got enough dating shots, so I raced over here to save you from kissing. <laughs> but these happy couple pics are useless without a loud breakup. Mm -hmm. Tom, just follow my lead. Huh? I'm sorry, Tom. Do you mind playing along? And action! Tom, this isn't working out. I think we should end it. Whoa. That's a little too real. Why? Says the boyfriend. Because you're selfish and immature. Selfish and immature? Me? Good. No. The selfish and mature boyfriend huh? throws food. Whoa! Stop. Hey, quit throwing crab legs at me. Now, let's bring in the waiter. That's me. <clears throat> Hello, I'm a waiter, and throwing food is not allowed. You hashtag Angela and you hashtag boyfriend are kicked out. Now I will tell everyone on social media about this dramatic breakup. And cut! I can make that work. Huh? You got this, Tom? Uh, well, I, uh, yes. see ya. Oh, thank you, Tom. <sighs> Thanks to this video for breakup with your crappy, unattractive boyfriend, Angela has clawed her way to number one on today's hot new celebrity list. You can catch Angela in her Getting Over My Breakup concert, which will stream live later today. Another celebrity who thinks she can sing. <laughs> Sorry, oh. Angela. Your big talent is flipping tables. So I think I'll be one of the many ClickFeed fans I'm missing this show. <laughs> You're a celebrity now. You don't need talent. Isn't that why we're doing this? <laughs> uh, 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 forget it. Uh. We go live in 10 minutes. What's her problem? So, what are you gonna do? I don't know. This live feed will be my biggest audience ever, but most of them don't even want to hear me sing. Well, your real fans can't wait to hear you sing. And if someone is only watching because some lame celebrity gossip show put you on their list, their opinion isn't that important. Am I interrupting anything? No? Good. I have an idea. I don't want to hear it. Mm. Great. So a lot of your fans from ClickFeed are going to be tuning in. So it's really important that you give them what they want. And what do they want? Well, they don't want you to sing. Uh -huh. Look, you can sing if you want. But I just think it's better to flip out and start wrecking the stage. That's what this audience wants from you. Bye! And we're live streaming. Well, Angela, decision time. Be an out-of-control celebrity, be a great singer, combine the two, do whatever you think is best for you. Welcome to the live streaming event you've been waiting for. This is Angela. <sighs> One, two, three, four! What? I felt completely off the hot new celebrity list? Yes, but don't panic. We can bounce back. We'll get you thrown off a bus or something. Just don't sing for a while. No, Ginger. From now on, I'm going to focus on the music. No more fake boyfriends, no more stupid lists, and no more Ginger. You're fired! Yeah, I fired you first. You never fired me! Bye! Da -da -da -ba, da -da -da -da. I still don't get it. I thought I sounded okay. Okay? That was the greatest musical performance since the first cavemen banged two rocks together. <laughs> Thanks for your support, Tom. You're the best. So now that your career's back on track, I I've been thinking about how we almost, you know, kissed at the diner. Oh, the fake date. Awkward, right? Uh, yeah. Tom, is Angela your girlfriend? Can it, Whoa. Hank? <sighs> huh, that should do it. Let's see, backpacks, slipping bags, lanterns, oh! Sunscreen. Check. Cool shades. Check. Hacky sack. The sack is in the back. 
Great, I think we've got everything we need for the annual best friend camping trip. Now to pack it all. Hank, I'll let you get started. I gotta take care of the thing with the deal. Huh? How'd you fit all that in? The secret is to roll your underwear into tubes. Whoa, 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 huh? whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a laptop? <laughs> Nowadays, it's called a portable computer. This is our best friend's camping trip. That means me, you, Hank, and no laptops. Hi, guys. Huh? Oh, and I also invited Angela. If that desert is hiding dinosaur bones, they will be mine. And I invited Ginger. Someone has to teach him about nature? Hold on, five people on a three-person best friends trip? What's wrong with us coming? Uh, let's see, five is not three. Don't worry, Ben, we're still gonna do the same things we do every year. Plus, we'll get to witness the rarest sight in nature. <gasps> a half bird, half snake man? Even better, an ultra moon. That's when the moon comes so close, it's like ultra. I don't see it. It's not out yet. It's still daytime. Okay, everyone. According to my checklist, it's time for our first night hacky sack session. Tom? Hey, later, Ben. I'm cooking here. Okay. While we wait for you, Hank, Ginger, let's get kicking. I feel like playing some music. I'm gonna go look for dinosaur bones! I see. I guess I'm the only one who cares about tradition. La 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 la. All right, everybody, try and guess the song. <gasps> oh, I know. Dance the night for you. No. Here, let me play the hook. <gasps> That's the exact same note. Hank, please stop. Everyone knows we don't play Guess the Song until the second night of the Best Friends trip. Look, the ultra mood is rising. <laughs> Looking at the ultra mood reminds me of a song. <gasps> now that's Dance the Night for you. You guessed it. <laughs> what? Oh, come on. <laughs> Go ahead, Tom, bring Angela. Sure, Hank, bring Ginger too, why not? Say, hey, someone should call up Santa and see if he's busy. <sighs> At least I have you, smuggled laptop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, let's see now. Wi-Fi in the middle of the desert? Hi, you up? Am I up? Who is this? The moon. Ha, you're being funny. Who is this really? Ow, who threw that? <laughs> That tastes just like a moon rock! Yes, I have a lot of those, because I'm the moon. Okay, but how am I talking to you? You're way too far away to get a signal. Usually that's true, but tonight I'm much, much closer to you. Did you get Wi-Fi just for this ultra moon? I've always had it. I just don't ever get to use it. Then you have some catching up to do. Wanna watch a funny internet video? What's a video? Oh boy, where do I even start? <laughs> what do you know about kittens? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> huh? Dead? No. <laughs> you sign off first. No, you sign off first. I did, and I logged back on, and you're still on. No. What's going on? Shh! I don't know. I found him like this. Maybe he's got <laughs> desert crazy. Hey, Ben, what are you doing? Ah, uh, just chatting with the moon. I thought you weren't gonna bring your laptop. Ah, well, you brought Angela. Hank brought Ginger. And thanks to my laptop, I found the moon. Wait, is that really the moon? Of course not. Huh, then how do you explain this sudden eclipse? Yeah, good one, moon. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, 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 ah. Did you see that eclipse? 
<laughs> That's Angela. Remember I told you about how she gets? Mm, you know, she's exactly like you described her. Wait, what? Well, are you and the moon coming on the hike with us? Oh, can you? Oh, I wish. It's time for me to set. Uh, oh. When can I chat with you again? Mm, I'll be back in 14,000 years. 14,000? Oh, well, uh, okay. I, it was nice meeting you, I guess. Yeah, I'll miss you, Ben. Ah, here's a crazy idea. What if I didn't set so we could keep hanging out? Yes, you could do that? Then you could go on the hike with us. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'd love to. Yes! Hey, buddy. A little farther and we'll be at Pleasant Springs. The highlight of every best friend camping trip, right? Ben? <laughs> I have to. <laughs> That's all I've got. No. Uh, what's so funny? I could tell you, but the moon doesn't think you'll get it. <laughs> really? I mean, I am pretty good at getting things, but whatever. <laughs> okay, we're laughing because I meant to send Ben a winky face, but I accidentally sent him a kissy face. <laughs> <laughs> That was a lucky accident. <laughs> kizzy, kizzy. Oh, so cute. So funny. You make such a good couple. Okay, the moon needs to go now. Look, I know the moon is annoying, but she makes Ben happy. Hold on, I gotta get a screenshot of this. Winky face, smiley face. Ugh, vomit. Yeah, okay, I'll talk to him. <laughs> Say cheese. Hey, Ben, some of us were thinking maybe it's time for the moon to, I don't know, set? Huh? Who's some of us, Angela? <laughs> Can the moon not be part of this conversation? <laughs> Anything you want to say to me, you can say to the moon. Tell him, Benny. Okay. There's supposed to be a best friend vibe on this trip, but the moon, who I think is totally cool, is kind of pulling you away from the group. Don't let him talk about us like that, Ben Ben. Uh, nobody talks about my girlfriend that way. Moon, come on, we're out of here. Trouble. Yeah, something needs to be done. I have an idea. And I have a dinosaur bone! So, now that we're alone, was that true what you said back there? Am I really your girlfriend? Well, do you want to be? Do I want to be? Does this answer your question? Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ah! Oh! Moon, you are so hot. Oh, Ben, stop it. <laughs> you I am just a lonely asteroid lost in this desert. If only there are a handsome, uh, uh, an average looking man to help me. What do you guys uh. think you're doing? Trying to save the best friend camping trip? You're the one who ruined it when you let Angela and Ginger come. Hey. Well, you ruined the hike. You and the moon. Oh, I get what's going on here. You're jealous because you wish you had the kind of connection with Angela that I have with the moon. What? This Angela? What gave you that impression? Admit it, Tom. You wish you could do this. Moon, since the first time I saw you, I wanted to kiss you. <gasps> kiss me, Ben. Best friends camping trip? Yes, us, best friends, remember? Wow, I don't know what to say. 
I had no idea a relationship with the moon would cause this much trouble. Yeah, I know it's hard, but you're doing the right thing breaking up with her. Ben? What? No, no, that's not what's happening here. What? Take care, Tom. Well, this is it. Goodbye, Ma. Where are you going, Ben? To the moon, Mom. To the moon. Previously on Talking Tom and Friends. Hold on. Five people on a three-person best friends trip? You're being funny. Who is this? The moon. Is that really the moon? That moon is trouble. Nobody talks about my girlfriend that way. Moon, come on. We're out of here. Where are you going, Ben? To the moon, Mom. To the moon. Ah! Whoa. I'm so not worried about not having Ben here to run Tom and Ben Enterprises. I, I don't need him. I mean, in a way, I'm glad that he's gone. Now there's no one to say, no, that's stupid. No, that's impossible. No, we can't make an update that makes your phone taste like chocolate. From now on, there's only yes. 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 Yes! <laughs> I can't believe you live out here. This is way better than Earth. Watch this. Kaboom! Wow, Ben. I didn't know you could dunk. I'm impressed. Oh, it's no big deal. Want me to do it again? Whoa! What's that? Oh, that's Dale. He's a comet. And a show-off. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Moon, I've never been happier. Mm, me neither, my angel. Me neither. I promised my fans an update to the My Talking Tom app, and that's what I'm going to give them. Today? That's right. Have you even started working on the update yet? Nope. But that's not a problem. But Ben's not here. Exactly. Now there's no one to slow us down. Now all we have to do is pick an idea, make it, and release it. Ready? Here's my first idea. I love it. Not yet, Hank, but I like your enthusiasm. Now here we go. I'm going to give my app something called... The Quackulator. It's like a calculator, but it quacks. Okay, I love that even more. I don't. That's just the beginning. I'm also going to add a feature I'm calling uh, a Talking Tom Tom. You know, Tom Tom. The drum. Talking Tom Tom. Oh, yeah, Talking Tom Tom. Um, what exactly does it uh, do do? Well, it takes whatever you say and it turns it into a drum beat. So it's your words if your words were drum beats. Talking Tom Tom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did I love that idea? Mm -mm. I didn't even like that idea. But can I be supportive to a good friend? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're all agreed. Talking Tom Tom is brilliant. Now for the easy part. The computer stuff. Have you ever even done computer stuff before? I can figure it out. Uh, you want me to turn it on? Huh? Uh, yes, I do. Oh! Benny, <laughs> that tickle! <laughs> this must be love. <laughs> I've never felt this way before! I'm so happy! Wait, is that crater shaped like a heart? Where's Hank? Oh. Ready to do our. Okay, I'll say something and you drum it back to me. Not yet. My name is Tom, my partner Ben. Is on the moon, so who needs him? Talking Tom and Tom Tom Tom. It works. All right. Now we just have to get this into there. Hank, stop drumming. Sorry. See, guys, we're doing great without Ben. 
If he were here, there's no way we'd be doing the Talking Tom Tom. Yeah, he would have killed this idea four hours ago. Exactly, that's my point. Ben only knows how to say no, right? Yeah. Angela, remember that time he shot down your totally great idea? Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. When the children eat, the future is gold. <coughs> Can't sing, need drink. Angela, no! Those are nails! Hmm? <sighs> wow. By saying no, he kind of saved my career. Okay, so that wasn't a great example. But you can't deny that Ben is just a big no. Yeah, I'll never forget the one time he told me no. <laughs> <laughs> No way. No, Ginger. No, 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 no. You can't give up. Get back on that bike. No, I believe in you. I know you can do this. I'm doing it, Ben. I'm doing it. I'm the happiest boy in the world. You weren't supposed to see that. That's the wrong flashback. But you get it, right? Ben said no. What? Quit smiling at me. I know what you mean, Ginger. Ben's negative attitude really upset you. I have a story where Ben said no. Enough hey. about Ben. We need to focus on getting the My Talking Tom Tom update ready. No more stories about Ben, okay? I kind of miss Ben. No, you don't. None of us do. What? Talking Tom Tom test, what is this? Talking Tom Tom test run video number eight. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Ben, and I wish I was as creative as Tom. Darn, <laughs> still stuck in cow mode. Okay, this update might be a crazy idea, but it's important to Tom, so it's important to me. I don't know if Tom will ever see this video, oh. but if he ever did, I would say, I'm trying, buddy. Give up on my friend. No way. <laughs> well, that was stupid, right? <sighs> I got something in my eye. It's hot in here and I'm going outside. It is a tad toasty in here. Hi, Ben. What you doing? Uh, just making an app that lists all the fun adventures we could go on together. Oh, like flying through an asteroid belt? Well, that might be a little deadly for me, but yeah, I guess that kind of thing. I know what we can do right now. Let's sit back and relax and watch the sunset. Yeah, sunset. That's a great idea. <sighs> <sighs> this moment is perfect. You're right. It is perfect. <clears throat> Moon. I know this might seem quite sudden, but... Uh, what are you trying to say, Benny? Moon, would you be my... Hey! What's going on here? Jeff? Who's he? I pop down to Earth for some groceries and I come back to this. Moon? Oh, my goodness. <sighs> I thought I could run this company by myself. But why would I want to? I can't even turn on a clacking computer without my best friend. Ugh, I give up. This business is ruined. He can't have Tom and Ben Enterprises without Ben. I guess he had to go all the way to the moon for us to finally appreciate him. We didn't even get the chance to say goodbye. <sighs> goodbye to whom? Ben! Ben! Yeah, Ben! <laughs> I'm so glad you're back. Come here. Oh, Hugging. Okay. This is the boot happening. Okay. Finish up now. 
What made you come back? I uh, just knew that you needed me, so yeah, that's the answer. But you and the moon were so into each other. Hey, enough moon talk, right? I say we find a way to give our fans the My Talking Tom update you promised them. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Do you have any ideas? Tons, and you're going to love them all. How about My Talking Tom Krill Tracker? Nope. Pajama Namer? Nope. Oh, you'll love this one. My Talking Tom Stripe Counter. It counts stripes. Right? <laughs> No. No? But I even said right? Okay, okay, okay. How about the My Talking Tom Tom? It takes whatever you say and turns it into a drum beat. That could work. I actually almost have it figured out. You do? Yeah, you just have to take the syncopation of the drum beat and then you take the code and put it in. After careful study, I have determined that this place does, in fact, have the best burgers in the known universe. Well, yeah, I mean, especially if you order off the secret menu. Oh, I love the secret menu. It makes me feel so mysterious. You can get the square bun style. That's where the burger has a square bun. Or double onion style. Oddly, that's triple onions. Or the Talking Tom, which is just a regular burger, but they name it after you. I'm going to get my freestyle. That's where you get a burger, and it's free. I don't think freestyle is a real thing. There is a freeze style where the meat is still frozen. A freak style where the burger really freaks you out. Oh. Well, what about the double secret menu? There's a double secret menu? No, I made it up. Hey, can anyone give me money to buy a burger? Uh. Uh. Ah! What kind of a dirty, rotten world do we live in? Where you always have to pay for a hamburger. How is that fair? Hank, I was about to... I mean, seriously, uh, yeah. I already paid for rent sure. and electricity mm -hmm. and TV theme song downloads. I'm not made of muddy, Tom. I I'm know. not a tree. No. I'm not a dog of beans. Oh, If you're short on cash, why don't you just try Cash Caker? Wait, cash a what now? It's that website where you ask people for money, and if they think it's for a good reason, they give it to you. Whoa, you think a cash kicker campaign could get as much as $3? It could, if the video where you beg for money is convincing enough. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Frank. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> I need to eat a hamburger, and I need you to help me achieve that lofty and delicious goal. Ah, hold on, I pointed the wrong way. I'm Hank Stubby, and me want hamburger. I'm so hungry. I heard these campaigns go better if I make this personal, so this message is going out to you, Beth, and you, Kristoff, and Amy. But not you, Mike. Definitely not you. I am not going to mention your name, Mike. He doesn't want to love it. Dreams! Yeah, I think we got it. Yeah! Hank's project is an insult to everyone with a real cash kicker campaign. Like my campaign! I'm perfecting the ability to create handheld holograms. With this amazing new technology, you can be holding something and then... Surprise! It was a hologram! Anyway, it's better than Hank's burger thing. That guy's not gonna raise a dime. You raised a million dollars on Cash Kicker? Yeah, I only needed three. Turns out it was as easy as you said it would be. But this flies in the face of statistics and logic and physics. In no sane world does this happen. What can I say? I guess people just like the idea of buying me a hamburger. Stop! <gasps> wow, okay, wow, this changes everything. We're gonna have to buy a fancy new car and then we're gonna drive that fancy new car on a boat. Wait, that might ruin the boat.
Oh, uh, wait, it doesn't matter. We got a million dollars. Yeah, uh, about that. <laughs> we don't have the money anymore because oh. I spent it all on hamburgers. You what? Why would you do that? Tom, people gave me this money for one reason, to buy burgers. Still, I mean, you could have saved some money for like a helicopter or two. You know, something small. Look, your cash kicker idea was super great. I wanted a burger. I got a ridiculous amount of burgers. <sighs> I made a giant burger mountain in the backyard, and now I'm eating a burger. <sighs> Everything worked out fine, <sighs> Tom. You want a burger? Congratulations on your big success, Hank. You're my hero! Well, the secret is asking in a way that makes people want to give. Yeah, uh, and making crazy promises. Like promising you'd eat a burger with anyone who gave you money? Totally stupid! I love it! I said what? That does sound like me. And anyone who gives me money will get to sit down with me and personally watch me eat the burger. Oh, <gasps> That does sound like me. And it looks like me too, so either I have an evil twin, oh, or I am the evil twin. Hank, I just said that you're my hero, and heroes always keep their promises. And since I contributed one penny to your campaign, I demand you eat a hamburger! No! Well, a promise is a promise. <sighs> so apparently I owe every single one of my million dollars worth of backers some one-on-one -on -one burger time. That's a lot of burger time. But maybe Ginger is the only one who cares. Maybe most of those people won't even call in for their reward. You're calling it for your award? Remember, there are hungry children in the world, so don't waste any sauce and finish the bun. This is totally my fault. If I hadn't done such a good job singing, less people would have given money, and you wouldn't be in this position. Aw, oh, don't say that. There was a lot going on in that video. No, Hank. I was really, really good. And now, I have to live with that. Just eat this quickly. Huh? I'm sorry I did this to you. Oh, yeah. Burger, burger, burger. In the house. It's Hank eating a burger time, y'all. Oh, uh, I just ordered a small water. I know, but I backed your campaign. So I get to watch you eat this. Hmm. Dr. Internet Doctor here. If you're feeling sick, then I'm your pick. Oh, hey, Hank. How are you feeling, my good man? Hey, Doc. I'm not feeling so well. Hmm. Any changes to your diet? Like, say, adding a ridiculous amount of burgers? How did you know? I saw your cash kicker. It's all everyone's talking about here on the internet. Everyone who contributed is expecting me to eat a burger with them. One on one. That can't be healthy, right? Let me see. Well, as a medical professional, I have to agree that eating that many burgers can't be good. For your own safety and the safety of those around you, I advise you to stop. Oh, that is such a relief. But as a guy who gave 75 cents to your campaign, I'm also looking forward to watching you eat a burger. <sighs> well, you're the doctor. I trusted you. I gave you so much of my attention and time. And this is how you repay me? Traitor! I'm a villain! Unfair! Ben, buddy, everything okay uh, here? The cash kicker campaign for my personal hologram app has completely stalled out. I only made $10! Actually, less, because some jerk took back his donation! Oh, that was me. I gave it to Hank. I even made a video like Hank, but it didn't work. I don't know why. You know what? I don't even want your money. You people don't deserve my app. All of you should be ashamed of yourselves. Shame. It ends with me just screaming into a pillow. I guess it's always good to blow off some steam. I'm just frustrated that Hank is so successful with his dumb hamburger campaign. You know, while I'm scrambling to try to get my world-changing hologram app made, he's living the high life. Hamburgers, hamburgers, hamburgers everywhere. Did anyone call for me? Don't answer that. No one's in the other room with a hamburger for me to eat, right? No one's hiding in the couch disguised as a ketchup packet waiting to eat a hamburger with me, are they? Are they? You can run, but you can't hide, ketchup man. I will find you! What's going on? Hmm. 
could be a symptom of pickle poisoning. That's a common side effect of an overdose on burgers. I have Buddy, you eat too many pickles? It making your brain crazy? I'm in trouble, guys. I made a crazy, crazy promise that I would eat a hamburger with everyone who gave me money. But so many people gave me money that I can't possibly eat that many hamburgers. That's <sighs> what you get for being frivolous on the internet. I know. I really frivolous things up. You did. Everyone was giving money to your burger campaign, so no one gave money to my hologram campaign, which was way more important. I'm sorry. If I could somehow use my power over burgers to help you, I would. Huh? That gives me an idea. Thank you for backing my burger campaign, Jode. Now I'm going to eat this just for you, Jode. Okay, set up the next one. Thanks for backing my burger campaign. Boris. Now I'm going to eat this just for you. 1,000 hologram burgers, zero calories. Just another 72 hours of this and we can get through all the rest of Hank's backers. <sighs> What's the matter, Ben? Well, when you said that gives me an idea earlier, you implied that Hank's burgers could help me. But all we're doing is helping Hank, again. My campaign is still unfunded. That's true, but at least you proved your app works. So in a way, this was really a victory for you. But that's not what I wanted. A victory. No, you see. Victory. So I crash landed the helicopter and saved the queen, and the people cheered and sang with joy. And that's when I finally made the switch from uh -oh. drinking cold water uh -huh. to drinking room temperature water. Oh, yeah, I see. that makes sense. What's going on here? Why are you sitting around talking when we could be out getting free candy? <laughs> Ginger, we're adults. If we want candy, we can just go buy some. Oh, so you're just coming with me while I trick or treat. I don't think you understand. Trick or treating isn't on our schedule tonight. What? But wait, are you saying? Don't touch it. <gasps> Sorry. Listen, it's cold, it's dark, Hank still hasn't returned my scuba diver costume. Oh, that was a costume. No wonder the tag on it said, do not wear in water. The point is, we're not really doing Halloween this year, Ginger. Not doing candy? Ah! Ah! Ginger, I'm a grown-up now. I drink room temperature water. I can't be out running around with children in costumes. You'll be sorry you didn't take me trick-or-treating. And you'll be sorry you said such mean things about me. Um, we didn't say any mean things about you, Ginger. Well, I'm sure you thought that. Mm, he's got us there. All right, who's ready for this year's Scarathon TV Marathon? Woohoo! me! are about to enter a place beyond a place, beyond another place. Some things are the same here, but some are different. Are ghosts real? Do aliens exist? What is the Tooth Fairy doing with all those teeth? Everything isn't black and white, but this show is. You've just crossed over into the Sundown Center. <laughs> Boring! Did you seriously pick an old black and white show for this year's Scarathon? Why does it matter if it's in black and white? It's boring! This is Halloween! The Scarathon should be scary! Au contraire, mon scare. Black and white can be very scary, especially if I use this. The Total TV Immersion app. It makes it feel like you're in the show. It'll have you shaking in your Halloween boots. Ooh, I'm so scared. You will be. What? Whoa, wow. is this real? The 
This is awesome. It's just like we're in the Sundown Sector. Maybe we are. Total immersion. Today's story is about a monster. Not a monster that lurks in the dark. Not a monster with fangs or claws. This monster is an adorable little boy. Ah! All right, listen up. Because I'm nice, I'm going to give you one more chance. You can either come trick-or-treating with me now, or you can suffer the consequences. Ginger, this is getting annoying. How many times do we have to tell you no? No, 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 no. What just happened? Where did Ben go? Now, do you want me to turn you into an app? Or do you want to do exactly what I say? a break, Ginger. We're exhausted from following all of your fun orders. Turn the TV off, Hank! Mm. I can't. The Halloween episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy's about to start. Mm. I mean, I can't do that. The Halloween episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy's about to start. Turn it off now, Hank, or I'll send you into my phone like I did to Ben! Mm. I can't do it! This is your last warning! I can't! What? I just can't! Please don't punish me! I physically can't turn off the TV if Bago and McGillicuddy is on! <laughs> Great idea, <laughs> right, Angela? Angela, what are you doing? I am finished doing what Ginger tells us to do. Excuse me? You heard me! I said I'm not going to listen to you anymore. You're just a little brat who gets mad when he doesn't get his way, and I have had enough! Ah. No! <laughs> 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 You have to stop, Ginger. You can't just push people around and intimidate them into doing what you want. That's funny, because I actually can't do that! Ginger, Ginger, listen, I, I, I want to say that I am really sorry for the whole running and chasing and, and yelling thing. I actually like following your orders. I, j j just give me another one and I'll do it right away. Sorry, Tom. It's too late. You had your chance! Ginger, please! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tom! Tom! Uh, oh, hey, Tom. What is this? Wait, are, are we in... Yeah, we're inside Ginger's phone. And by the looks of it, we're trapped. Things were pretty bad in here for a while, but then the couch and the TV just appeared out of nowhere. It was awesome. Speak for yourself. When the couch appeared, it landed on me. How did that happen? What's that sound? What sound? <gasps> Bed to your left! Uh, 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 I meant move 
to your left. Are you sure we can't escape? There has to be some way out of here. I don't even see any doors or walls. It's like we're in a totally different plane of existence or something. Well, at least we're not just sitting around the garage. We keep saying we need to get out more, and we finally did. I'm proud of us. You know, this same thing happened on an episode of the Sundown Sector. I guess we'll just have to do what those characters did. Witches. I mean, not like witches, but witches. Give up. Give up? You mean just stop trying to escape? Yep, there's no way out, so might as well get comfortable. Are you crazy? There is no way I'm giving up that easily. Hey, Ginger, you hear me out there? You're not gonna get away with this. We'll escape somehow, and when we do, you'll win. What is that? What is that? Wait, 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 wait. I told you old things can be good and scary. You guys don't think something like that is really possible, right? I mean, I, I know it's just a show, but you don't think that... Ah! Hey guys, I'm back! Ah! And I got tons of candy! Ah! What's wrong with you guys? Nothing. Yeah, nothing's wrong. Everything is great. Just perfect. Okay, if you say so. Hey, the Sundown Sector. I remember this show. I used to watch this with my parents. They said I reminded them of some character on there. <laughs> I don't remember who, though. Isn't that weird? I said, isn't that weird? <laughs> So I said, uranium? More like my anium, huh? Am I right? I love watching Ben do stand up. He's awful. I can't do this anymore. Even my fake laugh sounds fake. Listen. Ha <laughs> ha! Good one, Ben. Okay. Mm, try this. <laughs> Wait, that's fake? That's how you laugh when I tell a joke. <laughs> oh, Tom, you're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Bromine! <laughs> right, bro? Mean. Ugh. Cadmium! <laughs> I just met him. Oh. Iodine? Oh, iodine up here. Uh, cat got my tungsten? <laughs> Iridium! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> ah! Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Way to go, buddy! Don't bother lying to me, I bombed. Whew, thank goodness, he already knows, guys. It just doesn't make sense. I know my jokes were humorous. Look at this spreadsheet. Every joke I did tonight was from the funny column. I know the problem. You think your jokes are funny, but they're not funny. Oh, that's why no one was laughing. Your jokes aren't funny. No, my jokes aren't the problem, I know that. But there's some piece of the comedy puzzle that's still missing and I'm gonna find out what it is. <laughs> How was that? Better. Huh? Was that all? Yeah. 
Let's see. Turn on that. Push that. <laughs> <laughs> My research is complete. I'm happy to say that I finally found a way to perform comedy so my material gets the laughter it deserves. This is gonna be really big. possibly get that big. <laughs> the Gainatron! My research proved that big equals funny, and this device will instantaneously quadruple my size. This is what I was missing. Right, so why did the chicken cross the Mobius strip? <laughs> <laughs> to get to the same size! Why are they laughing? <laughs> no one even knows what a Mobius strip is! Man and tiny, I'm trying to laugh at that house on the stage. <laughs> I don't think Big Ben is getting laughs for the right reasons. You're right, I have seen this before. They're laughing at him. Ugh, this is communal shaming. Oh, pardon me, I just need a little liquid refreshment. Oh, 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 be careful there. Oh. Oh. Who wants to hear a jolly old jape about a focus ray of light? Oh. Well, that, my friends, was comedy. People were definitely laughing. Precisely. My invention, the Gainatron, has given me a huge comedy stage presence to match my already hugely funny material. You're hugely wrong. No one thinks your jokes are funny. It must be that people are laughing at you. As opposed to laughing with you? False. They were laughing because they understood my clever wordplay and my science-based comedy. <laughs> ben, I didn't understand a word you said, but you sure were funny. Up top. Put it there, pal. No. Oh. <laughs> You've done it again. Good one. It's not working. We're not strong enough. Keep pushing! So just get me to the couch. I don't have all day here, you know? Hey, guys, maybe this will help. Is everyone okay? I'm fine. Uh, it's not fine. <gasps> that ain't Ginger. No, it's right here. <gasps> Disgusting. Ben, this isn't worth it. Your size is getting in the way of your life. But it's not getting in the way of my comedy. It's not comedy. You're not funny, Ben. You've never been funny. The audience would beg to differ. Everyone's laughing at you because you look ridiculous. You could read memes out of a school yearbook and get the same response. Whoa, absurd. My audience could tell the difference between a well-crafted joke and a list of random words. Oh, yeah? Prove it! Maybe I will. <laughs> and then the molecule replied, <laughs> Oh, <of Moses. laughs> You can read names out of a school yearbook and get the same response! Well, now I think I'm gonna roll, and I think I wanna try out some new comedic material. 
തുടാറെ people to think I'm funny. But Ginger was right. They were laughing because I was huge. Ugh, I might as well put the Gatortron in reverse and go back to plain old Ben. Hey, where is the Gatortron? Uh-oh. My butt did a bad thing. That was my only prototype. I guess you're just going to be stuck this way. I guess so. <laughs> Unless... What? Yeah! Whoa! Woohoo! Hey, me jumping on you is really deflating you. Oh, excuse you. Hey, looking smaller, buddy. You know, this whole experience has taught me a lesson. I want people to laugh at my wit, not at me. And that will take time, patience, and diligence. As I was saying, I'm already developing a hilarious new routine about gravity. Sounds pretty heavy. <laughs> that one was the fake one, wasn't it? Tom, please leave the comedy to the comedian. Hey, let me try! Oh. What? I can't hear you. I'm wearing these stupid earplugs. What did you say? What? Help! Help! Someone please help! Pretty please help! I'm too young to go flat! Hey, can we take these off now? What did you say? Huh? Can't hold on much longer! Ah. <laughs> that's recommended by four out of five dentists up on a date. <laughs> Just nod once for no and rinse and spit for yes. <laughs> so, I'll pick up at eight and open. <laughs> Dad, you are one smooth talking dentist. Ah, give me the remote! Hurry! Pajama pals is on! No can do, little bud. Because this is a special hour-long Dad the Dentist. Dad is unsure if he wants a date with Sally after he finds out she only has three wisdom teeth. But it's the Pajama Pal season finale! I need to see it! Pretty please? Sorry, but oldest gets to decide what's on TV. It's the law. What law? That's not a law, and I know about laws. Now give me the remote! Give it! Give it! One day you'll thank me, Ginger. 
Disappointment builds character. I remember the time I unwrapped a hamburger and there was only a bun. That moment helped shape the man I am today. Well, I know a law. Ginger gets what Ginger wants. Ah, oh, good kid. Hank will pay for crossing the Ginger Avenger. I have here every prank I've ever thought up. No, that one needs a pie and an angry donkey. Too subtle. Oh, wait, I don't have an active volcano. Ooh, this will be perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hi, Ginger. Want a signature sandwich? This one is side Ben. Last week I found one with the name Hands Off. Must be Swedish. What was that voice? Is someone there? I don't hear anyone. <gasps> Hank, is that you? You know imaginary friends aren't supposed to appear on their own. Huh? I'm not imaginary. And imaginary friends definitely aren't supposed to say they're not imaginary. I think you should learn what imaginary means. It means you came from my head. <laughs> Ginger, that's not where we come from. I won't say right now, but spoiler alert, it involves a bird and a bee. And maybe a bear? <gasps> Hank, where'd you go? Come on, don't be mad. D I'm right here. Oh, Hank, come back. Come on, buddy. Boy, you wouldn't believe what just happened. Ginger said I was imaginary and wouldn't exist if it wasn't for him. Can you believe that? Tom? Tom. Hey, Ben, find any good molecules lately? Tom? Ben? Imaginary. I don't think so. I can make you do anything I want. And right now, I want you to think about pink elephants. See, you're wrong, because the last thing I'm going to do is... <gasps> I am thinking about pink elephants. On stilts. Now they're on stilts. Juggling watermelons. Why are they so talented? And now, I'm going to make you breathe. Uh-uh, no way. <gasps> <laughs> that doesn't prove anything. If you're not imaginary, why don't you have a job like a real person? <clears throat> and when was the last time you got mail? Uh, well, I don't know. <sighs> Tom, Tom, Tom. Ooh, current resident. That kind of counts. No, it doesn't. Angela, is it possible I'm Ginger's imaginary friend? Uh, are you for real? No! Oh! And now, back to Mike and his mustache. <laughs> oh, Mike, why did you grow that awful mustache? <laughs> Listen, Tooch, Mike didn't grow me, I grew him. Uh, uh, uh. Imaginary friends don't get to decide what's on TV. Well, if I am Ginger's imaginary friend, I'm going to be the best imaginary friend ever. Who's your imaginary friend? Is it a dragon, a pirate, or a guy named Hank? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Toilet paper! <laughs> <laughs> You're a better shot than my favorite TV pirate, Long John Silverspoon. He's on Who Wants to Arg. <laughs> I'm 
That's only good. But that's Angela. I think you mean soaking wet, Angela. <laughs> The best! Did you hear her? Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. Ah. Ah. I am soaking wet! Who did that? <gasps> Heck! Help! Hold on! Don't worry! Hold me up! Oh no! What am I thinking? Ginger, I'm just imaginary! You need someone real! Wait, what? You'll just slip through my imaginary hand! No! I won't! Pinky swear! Peg, please help! <laughs> I am so sorry, Ginger. <laughs> I'm so sorry! Tom! Ben, help! What'd you say? What? Peg, you are real! I was being bad! I was playing a joke! Really? I was just mad about pajama piles. I made a mistake. Oh, this is just like that episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy when Bongo was convinced he was a toaster. <laughs> JJ! No! Oh, I cannot believe this. Tom, can you see how wet I am? Somebody's up there. Giant water Angela, wait! I couldn't. Did you hear what she said? I couldn't hear what she said! These ear things made me miss what Angela said. No, I ate already! So what? She could have said anything. Like, what if she said, Tom, I get so angry when I think of us not being together. Or, Tom, I am madly, madly in love with you. That, that's it. No more earplugs. Caution, do not eat Ginger's leg. This is a cast, not a signature sandwich. Ginger, I hope you learned a lesson from all this. I did. Like what? Uh, like you should only throw water balloons from flat rooftops? What lesson did you learn? Me? Well, I guess I learned how much I care about you, and even though you tricked me into being your imaginary friend, you could always imagine me as your real friend. For real. All right, buddy. You pick the show. Um, I want to watch this. Dad the Dentist? When did you become a fan of Dad the Dentist? No, let's just watch a dumb show. Here's a question for you, Sally. Which is more valuable? <sighs> money like <sighs> from the Tooth Fairy or friendship like from Dan the Dentist? Not once <gasps> for money or rinse and spit for friendship. <laughs> Super. I thought you'd say that. Open. <laughs> Rinse and spit, Dad. Rinse and spit. Hey, say, where'd you get that cool hat? <sighs> this is a sterile workplace. If one of your loops of fruit contaminates my motherboard, everything will be ruined, and I'll have to start over again. Look, I even put a line on the floor so people know to keep out. Hey, Ben, I forget. Which side of the line am I supposed to be on? Ah, <laughs> uh, the other side. Yeah, that's probably for the best. <sighs> I'm pretty sick. <laughs> And 100% germ-free. Yeah, and no Hank in sight. Hey, where is Hank, anyways? I quarantined him in a secure location. I think you know what I usually do in here. Practice my funny faces in the mirror. But Ben says I gotta stay here until I get better. It's okay, though. <laughs> At least I have a TV. Wait a minute. So you just stuck Hank in the bathroom? Uh -huh. But he already sneezed everywhere. How do you know his nasty sneeze germs are gone? This is how. My new GPS app. 
the germ positioning system. It locates every germ in a given area so I can destroy them. Huh. It says there's one left. What? Impossible! It can't be! <laughs> Newton's apple! I missed it! Then this is crazy sauce. It's just one little germ. I can't get a beat on it. Oh, dude, you're not gonna get it. It's too small. Correction, Tom. It was too small. <gasps> hey, it worked! Hi, everyone. I'm Jeremy. The Jerem. <gasps> stop! Ooh, stay there! Oh, Hold still oh, so I can no. hear you! Please don't! Ben, stop! Yeah, don't hurt him. He's cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm cute. Put it there. Ew, I'm not touching you. You're a giant infectious bacteria. Nobody touch it! Its only purpose is to make us sick. We have to kill it. But we can't kill him now. We know his name. Yeah, Jeremy. You're soft, Tom. Just don't infect anyone. And stay away from my stuff. Pretty much the same rules as Tom. Got it? Roger that, friendo. I promise none of you will end up like Hank. Oh, uh, okay, Jeremy. Now Ben needs to work, so let's get out of his way. Yeah, let's hang out and get to know each other, huh? Wow, that sounds like fun. I love to make new friends. Wait a minute. Hey, Jeremy, can I talk to you for a second? Sure, pal. You mentioned Hank, but no one else did, which means you must have been in contact with him before. Yeah, so? You're the germ that got Hank sick, aren't you? Very good, Ben. Very good. You figured out that a germ got someone sick. Oh, no, I certainly hope you haven't caught on to my plan to infect everyone else, <sighs> including you, Ben. You can try to warn them, but they won't believe you. I'm cute, remember? And you're a nut. Huh? Stop! Hey, guys, stop, wait stop, up! Stop, I was stop, just thanking my new friend, Ben, for not crushing me. <laughs> I don't know where I've been. I know not to where I'll zoom. The only thing that I know now is it's just me and this bathroom. Da -da -da. <gasps> Guys, we have to get rid of Jeremy. I'm serious. He wants to infect us all. That little fella? <laughs> Come on, Ben. <laughs> <gasps> Look, you have to listen to me. Whatever you do, no matter the circumstances, do not eat those sandwiches! Yes. Uh, no, no, no. I hope you guys like them. Uh. It's my grandma's special mm. recipe. But I added my own mm. personal mm. touch. <gasps> These are so good, you guys. Oh, Jeremy, mm. you're the best. Yum. I am so glad Ben didn't kill you before. Mm -hmm. mm. Ah, water <laughs> under the bridge. It was in the heat of the moment. Before you all knew how great I was. But we're all friends now. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's go play the pinball machine. What? We don't have a pinball machine. We do now. Jeremy got us one. What a great group. I forgot your sandwich on purpose, Ben. But feel free to eat the leftovers. <laughs> <sighs> I've got to get the others to see the truth about Jeremy before he gets all of them sick. But how? He's so smooth. Well, if he won't slip up, I'll just have to slip him up. I'm gonna frame him. I love you, Shampoo! Where have you been all my life, conditioner? Boy, he is silky smooth. Oh, that reminds me, I have to wash my hair. Now for the icing on the germ cake. <laughs> Guys, you've got to come see this. And look at that. Look at that. That's my favorite wall. It says germs rule. The only germ here is Jeremy. 
So logically, he is the culprit. That is ridiculous. Jeremy was with us all afternoon singing karaoke. There is no way it could have been him. <laughs> we don't have a karaoke machine. We do now. Jeremy bought us one. Where does he get all this money? And look at how much fun we're having. See? He was with us, Ben. So stop trying to get us not to like Jeremy. That is mega lame. Come on, let's go chill in the ball pit. <laughs> ball pit? Can't you see what he's doing? A ball pit is the most unsanitary play area known to science! Give it up, Ben. They'll never believe you. I've completely stolen your friend. And pretty soon, they'll all be sick. And then we'll see who the real Jerome is. Still you? Ta-ta, Ben! Oops. <laughs> and that makes... Uh, 6,465 lines. Or was that 4,656? Do over. One, two... Well, my closest friends all love Jeremy. And if he's their friend, well, I guess that I'll just have to find a way to get along with him, too. That's not gonna be easy. Oh, we got one of these no good. This is no good. This is garbage. This is trash. This is good to the mouth. An orange. Vitamin C. See you later. <laughs> uh, um. Well, hello, Ben. Hey, Jeremy. Look, I tried to frame you for making that mess. It was wrong. I apologize. It was, and you too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a classic tale of Jerem beats poison. What say we shake on it, friendo? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> are you wearing a glove? I guess you could say I'm a Jeremophobe. Hey! Who are you bringing the visit? He looks strangely familiar. Ben is giving out swirlies. That's it. What, ben, what just happened? Where's Jeremy? What did you do to him? <sighs> Relax, Tom. He's in a better place now. <gasps> you killed him? What? No. I flushed him down the toilet, which leads to the sewer. It's an ideal habitat for a germ. He'll have plenty of friends down there. No, Jeremy. Now who's going to chew my gum for me? He was only trying to get you sick. And chew your own gum! Ben, you don't get to decide who we can be friends with and who gets flushed down the toilet. Yeah, that's right. And another thing. Gazunite! <laughs> you guys, I don't feel so good. Yeah, me neither. <gasps> 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 oh, now he's coming three. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we let Jeremy fool us like that. We're so stupid. <laughs> I know. I have never taken an open face mystery sandwich from a talking bacteria ever again. Sorry we didn't believe you, Ben. <laughs> Don't worry about it. All that matters is that you learned your lesson. And send all the bad germs to the sewer where they belong. Those fools! They think putting me down here will get rid of me? Well, let them. I'll be back one day. This? Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mm. It's the best cake mm. ever. Mm. Where did it mm. even come from? Don't overthink it. Mm. Yeah, don't question cake. Mm. Wow. Mm. Do you guys hear a whistling sound? Don't overthink it. Yeah, don't question sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what day it is? Oh, no. Please don't tell me it's Hank's birthday. It's my birthday, 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 it's my birthday. Every year for his birthday, Hank asks for the same thing. He asks us to help him make his very own episode of his all-time favorite show, Bongo and McGillicuddy. And every year we say no.
no. It's not like we like telling our friend he can't have what he wants. But there is no way that we're acting out one of his little scripts on camera. Uh-uh, no. It could ruin our super professional image. <laughs> Birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday! And that means it's showtime! <laughs> it is not showtime. You can't make people do things just because it's your birthday. Yeah, plus we have a ton of deadlines this week. We can't take an entire day to help you with your little skit. Well, sorry. It's just that ever since I was a little, little boy, I just always wanted to make my own episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy. <sighs> sorry, though. I, I didn't mean to take up everyone's valuable time with my stupid, dumb, lame little dream. <laughs> Even though you ate my cake. My... Birthday cake? <laughs> okay, fine, I'll be in it. Really? But I'll have to move some things around in my schedule, so let me just call my agent. Thanks, Angela. Ooh, you can play the grizzled old police chief. How fast can you grow a mustache? Wait, what? Well, I guess it is your birthday, and we did eat your cake. So I suppose I could play a minor character. Yes! You can play McGillicuddy. McGillicuddy is Bongo's orangutan sidekick. And you won't have many lines, because he's one of those non-talking orangutans. Actually, Hank, all orangutans are non-talking orangutans, because orangutans can't talk. <laughs> Save the jokes for the blooper reel, buddy. You know, I'm actually somewhat of a thespian, so I wouldn't mind sinking my acting chops into a new project. Hooray! That just leaves. Hmm. Let me think about it. Hmm. No, I'm good. Uh... <sighs> Goodbye, Bago. It's okay, Hank. I'll play your lead. I shall be your Bongo. And guess what? I'll do it better than Tom ever could. All righty then. Excuse me? Oh, it's nothing personal, Tom. It's just that some of us are, how should I say? More naturally talented at the arts than, oh, how should I say, others of us. I'm saying I'm better than you. Ooh, that you are... I know what you're saying, Ginger. Hank, I want that part. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ha ha. It's audition time. I didn't know Tom knew ballet. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about Tom. Really? Like what? Well, uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm. Uh, that's it, actually. Just the ballet thing. Tom's kind of an open book, I guess. Whew. <sighs> All right, so what's it going to be, Hank? Did I get the part? To Tom or not to Tom? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the garage to choose the talented actor Ginger or... Quit it, Ginger. The audition is over. Enough! It's just too hard to choose. You're both simply fantastic. Tub, I'm sorry. Sorry I had to use such a cliché misdirection before telling you that you've got the part! Yes! Ah! Are you serious right now? Sorry, Ginger, but Bongo is a hard-boiled street mm -hmm. cop who plays by his own rules. Mm -hmm. You're just a kid, so... What? I lost a part because I'm a kid? Angela's playing an old police chief! Oh, you don't think a girl can be a police chief? She doesn't even have a mustache! Thank you for understanding. But you know what I do need? An assistant. A right-hand man. Someone to help me out with all the most important parts of directing a big show. Like bringing me a coffee. <sighs> and I like a lot of milk, kid. Okay, but I'm going to spit at it. Huh? Oh, boy. This is going to be fun. Bongo and McKillicuddy, take one! And... Action! 
kitchen. <laughs> cut, cut, cut! I know, right? Ben totally huh? bungled that last line. No, Ben was perfect. When I asked you for coffee, I meant I wanted it today. <gasps> what are you, raising the beans and then milking them yourself? I don't think Hank knows where coffee comes from. Here's your coffee, sir! Oh, that's disgusting! This coffee still tastes like coffee! I told you more milk! More milk! More milk! How about I just bring you a glass of milk? <gasps> Ginger, I know you're doing your best, but can you explain something to me? Sure. Why isn't there a stapler on the chief's desk? Have you ever seen a police chief who doesn't have a stapler on his desk? Uh, you know what? Everyone take five. Oh, you're so mean. <laughs> I didn't know Hank would be taking this so seriously. The question is, why aren't you taking it more seriously? Break's over. Let's take it from the top. And get it right this time. Amateurs. Lights. Camera. That's it! Bongo, Miguel Cuddy, in my office now! <laughs> this is the last straw. You are done in this department. Turn in your badges! <laughs> Come on, Chief, be reasonable. <laughs> Miguel Cuddy is right. Dr. Jerkface was a bad guy. Remember what he did in season one? Episode 16? <laughs> yeah, that was really messed up. He got what he deserved. You karate kicked him into a volcano, Bongo! That's not protocol! A lot of things aren't protocol. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, I, I, I'm... <laughs> you watch your language when you're talking to me, McGillicuddy! Badges. Now. You know what, Chief? Fine. Did I karate kick a bad guy into a volcano? Yes. Did it look wicked cool? Guilty. But do I regret it? Not for a second. So you can take our badges, you can take our uniforms, you can even take our cool car with the lights on top that go whoop whoo! But there's one thing that you can never take, Chief. Our liberty! Yeah! Oh, I mean... Add cut! Okay, that was interesting. Now, does anybody want to tell me what went wrong with that scene? Whew! I thought it was pretty good. Well, I know I nailed it. What about you, Ben? I don't know. You don't know? You mean like you don't know your lines? You said ah ooh ooh ah ee ooh ah ha ee ee. Yeah. What does the script say? <laughs> exactly! You dropped a- <clears throat> You ruined the scene! I thought we were making fan fiction! I wasn't aware we were making garbage! Thanks for ruining my birthday! Huh. Now I'm glad I ate his cake. Oh no! I've made a huge mistake! This was supposed to be fun. But I took things too far. I made it a chore. I made everyone feel bad. And that's the worst part. Wow. I learned so much from Bongo and McGillicuddy. This is just like that episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy where Bongo had to watch his favorite TV show to realize he made a mistake. Bongo took something that was supposed to be fun and turned it into a chore. And that's just what I did. Now I have to do what Bongo did. Make it right. And so, in my own small Bongo-ish way, I stand here before you, hoping to make things right. Well, lesson learned. You know, some people are TV makers, and some people are TV watchers. <laughs> Classic Tom. Always with the jokes. <laughs> okay, catch you guys later. Uh, where are you going? I'm gonna get started on next year's script. But first, I'm gonna eat a piece of my birthday. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's a super cool ringtone. I know, isn't it? Yes, we're next. Finally, we've been standing in this live forever. Oh, ooh, my knees are locking in place. Listen. We've all made sacrifices, but it's worth it 
Because after two days and three nights of waiting, we're some of the first people in the <laughs> world to own the greatest tech gadget of all time ever this year. The glove phone. <laughs> yes, glove phone. What's a glove phone? Uh, it's the latest in wearable tech. Part glove, part phone, all glove phone. I'm confident that a few years from now, all clothes will be computers. Really? Computer clothes? Great. Those will look perfect with my calculator earrings. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. This just in on the glove phone. We are all out of glove phones. You'll have to come back another time. What? 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 But no! We've been waiting here for days! <laughs> That's the spirit. Hey, don't think of this as failing at buying a glove phone. Think of it as succeeding at standing in line for a really, really, really long time. But we were next! Look, I made my own glove phone. See, you could put your pictures on it like this, and then you could even post them on social media. If social media is the fridge. Can you get a triple megapixel palm display on that thing? I don't know what that means. Because the real glove phone can! <gasps> if it's broken, you're paying. Everybody calm down. It's hard, I know, but we can get through this. How can I stay at the cutting edge of technology if I don't own the technology at the cutting edge? I don't know. I was trying to be strong for the both of us. Oh, this is so hard. Did somebody say glove on? <laughs> huh? Yeah, I guess. In the last minute or so, someone did. Yeah, why? Because I could have sworn I heard glove phone. Or maybe I was just looking at my hand. What? what? How did you get that? My parents paid someone to stand in line. Did you know some bozos waited like three days for one of these? Wow. Pfft. What a bunch of bozos. Right, guys? I know, right? One of you send me a text. Um. Wow. Hand control motion sensors. Super intuitive. It's like this is what my hand naturally wants to do anyway. And if I want to open up a weather app, I just... <gasps> Come on! I own you! Oh, it's cloudy. See? Let me try. I want to see if the thumb sensors are as cozy as I've heard. If you think I'm going to let you use my glove phone, I'm going to ask you to talk to the hand. Talk to the head. That's the slogan for the glove phone. It's in all the ads. <laughs> talk to the head. Oh, that is such a good slogan. <laughs> Rage is so messy. Come on, Ginger. We're your friends. Let us try the glove phone. Uh, I don't know. I sort of just came over here to gloat. Oh, come on. There's got to be something we can work out. Just name it. Okay, here's the deal. We shoot this super sweet kung fu video for you, and in exchange, you let us use the glove phone. Deal? Uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> okay, edit that so it looks like I did a cool backflip. And make me on fire! Uh, I... Yes, given enough time, I could try to figure... Oh, you could try? I guess I'll try to think of a time that I can let you use the glove phone. Well, now, well, hang on, Ginger. Who said try? No one said try. Ben will add fire. And what if I threw in something to sweeten the deal? My secret stash of TV collectibles? But it's secret. Come on, Hank. Help us out here. Mm -hmm. All right, if it's important. But be careful. There's really valuable stuff in there. Like that napkin is the same color as one they used on English Party Mansion. What a show. Hmm, pretty impressive stash, I guess. Impressive enough to get a look at that glove phone? Huh? Ah, no touching! Stop right there. What if... 
<laughs> okay, so you want me to call my contacts in the music industry and get Ginger a front row seat at the Teen Romance Music Festival? Is it so hard to believe we're just doing it out of the goodness of our hearts? I want it! I want it! Gimme! 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 Oh, I'm just getting a call on my glove phone. I'll take it into the hall. If you'll excuse me. This is Ginger. Talk to the hand. Did you see that? Okay, are you just doing this so you can use Ginger's glove phone? What? That's, that's crazy. What are you talking about? Yes, yes we are. Look, I get it, but you can't just do a million favors for Ginger so you can use it. We're not doing a million favors for Ginger. We're just doing one complex thing for him. I mean, where does it end? Think about it. If you get this ticket, you're going to owe me a favor. Oh yeah, that's right. Don't you see? You're falling into a black hole of favors. Oh, is it a wormhole black hole of favors? A black hole? Isn't that one of those dangerous science things? <sighs> Angela's right. The glove phone isn't worth it. Well, maybe it's not. But you know what else they said wasn't worth it? Finding the world's first dinosaur bones. <laughs> Climbing to the top of the moon. <laughs> sailing Ooh, ah! to Mount Everest. I mean, everyone said those people were crazy. They said they should just sit at home and fluff their pillows, but they showed them and will show them too, because we are going to get that glove now. All right, so this didn't work out great, but after all that we have done for Ginger, he owes us that glove phone. And if he's not going to give it to us, we're going to have to take it. Potato One, this is Wild Bandit. Come in, Potato One. Uh, yeah, I see you, Tom. I think you mean. I see you, Wild Bandit. Over. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, for the record, I'm still opposed to sneaking into Ginger's house and stealing the glove phone. Over. Over. It's not stealing. We're just gonna take it without asking. He owes it to us. Over. I don't know, it feels wrong. The time to think about right and wrong ended when I put on this super cool black hat. Now the hat is on, and we are doing this. Okay, sure, let's do it. Over. Over. So, is lookout in position. Roger, black hat, I've got a view of the area. Is there anything I need to know? Over. Well, there's a squirrel in the tree to my left, and there are two flowers in the ground beneath me. There are no rocks nearby. Repeat, there are no rocks nearby. Wait, I saw one. Keep, keep going inside and you should be in a big hallway. You want to stay to your left. Left, right, forward. Yes, that, right there, should be it. Beyond that door in front of you is the room we've determined to be most likely to hold the glove phone. Whoa. Do you see it? No, I'm in an empty room, but there's a briefcase in the middle of the floor. That doesn't sound right. My research doesn't indicate any briefcase-themed charging device for the glove phone. It's just a picture of Ginger sticking his tongue out. It's like he's making fun of somebody or something. That's a trap! That's a trap! Wild man, get out of there! Very good. Ah, Ginger. You've passed the test. Test? Why, the test of friendship, Tom. The test to see if you would let your jealousy over the fact that I had a glove phone consume you. You did! Or should I say, fail the test? Wow! So you can even clap your hands while wearing the glove phone? Because I had read that we weren't going to be able to do that until they released the glove phone 2.0. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, no. <gasps> you broke it! Ah! Oh, man! My butler's butler waited in line for this forever! So after all that, nobody has a glove phone? That's insane! This is Nighthawk, over. I think the lesson to be gleaned from all this is that things are fun to have. But what really matters in life are the people who French... Hank, what, what is that? Sad... Nighthawk, you're breaking up. Repeat. I repeat. Nighthawk, repeat. Our friendships has the... <laughs> it looks like 
Nobody's technology is behaving today. <laughs> what? You called the cops? Jeez. I would call them and tell them not to come, but I don't have my glove phone. Somebody broke it. Our experience is... Misty Gad, Noodle Arm. Can you guys keep it down? Yeah, we're trying to finish Bicepter, our arm wrestling robot. Sorry, we're playing Slingshot Tag, and Ginger is it. I'm throwing it! No! Ooh, you almost got me there, Short Stack. Mm. He didn't really almost get me. I'm teasing him. Wink. If you're trying to whisper, you can't just put your hand near your mouth. You actually have to lower your voice like this. Oh, how adorable. Little fella doesn't even understand how to... <laughs> you're it. I was having a dream that we were living in a 3D cartoon. Ha! <laughs> Imagine us living in a cartoon. Phew! Whoa! Ah! Whoopsie! Hey. Sorry! Here, I'll put that right there. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, I see what I did. I see no, what I did. No, 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 no. Finally, we could play some ping pong! I'm first! No way! Ping pong is forbidden in this garage. This table has a long and troubled history. Yeah, you're probably too young to remember, little guy. Well, I remember. I remember. Like it was yesterday. And, uh... Mm. Should something be happening? Shh. We're waiting for a flashback. Oh. <clears throat> yesterday. Can you please stop that? We need to finish the watermelon launcher. Hey, Ben. You think I could pogo over the moon? Tom! Yeah! Tom, Woo! focus! Launching watermelons across football fields is serious business. Pfft. Are you even listening to yourself? If we don't win the watermelon launching contest and the cash prize that comes with it, we'll have to shut down that company. Lighten up, man. <sighs> Look, you're stressing yourself out. You need to relax and have a little fun. That's why I got us a big ball cable. Hey, Hank, you think maybe you could use two hands? Angela, then where would I put my ice cream cone? On my head? Good point. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Ben, you're up first. Absolutely not. We need to work. Oh, come on, Ben. You know how the song goes. Physical activity increases productivity. Who says that? Everyone. Scientists, brain experts, ping pongologists. Mm, I don't know. This is awesome. Told you. It's nice to see you finally relax. Oh my what? Game. Okay, well, now that we've had a little fun, we can all get back to work on the watermelon launcher. My turn! Ooh, I'll play Angela. <laughs> Actually, the official rule of the garage is winner stays on. So you have to play me. Woo oh, come on, Ben. We have to get back to work. <clears throat> if we don't win the contest and the cash prize that comes with it, we'll have to shut down the company. That was you, right? I mean, that was a spot-on impression of you? Winner stays on is the most sacred rule in the unofficial <sighs> ping pong rule book, and I refuse Whoa. to break it! What have I done? Step up, Junior. Ben! Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Ever since I was a young girl, I thought my game was strong. Uh -huh. But then I met a master, and oh baby, I was wrong. If you have to play him, you won't be out there long. That dirty apple Thank mm -hmm. you.
unstoppable. If someone doesn't beat him in ping pong, and soon, we're never gonna finish our watermelon launcher in time. This is just like the episode of Alpha Squadron Explosion Go, where Hitoshi has to battle the two-headed samurai ghost. You know, sometimes I think you make up these TV shows. <gasps> that sounds like something a samurai ghost would say. Where are you hiding your laser sword, Tom Sod? Wait, I know someone who could beat Ben. You don't mean... Hitoshi? What? No, Hank. I mean someone who lives right by us. Mm. Someone who's a lord of sorts? Uh. A lord? Uh. Of the land? Uh. I'm talking about the landlord! Uh, the landlord? I don't know. I mean, look at us. We're mere land commoners. Relax, I'll ask him. He's not my landlord. <laughs> Oh, it's you. Greetings, fair and noble landlord. Our friend Angela hath a request of thee. Well, okay, we tried. Oh, come on, we can't give up yet. Hey, listen, we need your help. We know you're a former ping pong champion. You stumble on my little secret, huh? But how? Well, the door knocker is shaped like a ping pong paddle? Oh, right, yes. Oh, and also there's a sign in the driveway that says parking reserved for ping pong champions. Okay, fine, 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 yes. The giant pile of ping pong trophies in your yard? Also, you're holding a ping pong paddle. <laughs> oh. My pong ping days are over! Please! Look, we wouldn't ask unless it was really important. Someone must defeat Ben so we can get back to work on our watermelon launcher. Enough! Go away! Boy, he sure loves slamming that door. Ben, what the heck's going on? Get out of here, Tom. I've told you before, this is no place for you. I can't believe this. Not only are you sacrificing the future of our company for your ping pong obsession, but now you've filled our garage with pong scum? <gasps> oh, you know it's true. Winner stays on! <coughs> That's the rule. You had your chance to beat me, and you failed. So I, the winner, stay on. This is my garage, and I won't have it filled with low-life pumping hustlers. Ha! Ah, so the rumors are true. Looks like you're ready for your reckoning, old man. Oh, I'm ready to knock you off your pongy style. <laughs> On pong. Go! The spin! Push the spin! There we go! So, it all comes down to this. Match point. Bring it! Up your face! Yes! Champion! You did it! I knew you could do it! King Pong! <laughs> yes, don't touch me. All right, show's over. Come on, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Shoo, shoo, scum, get out of here. Ah, well, good game, Ben. Ah, what? Well, what happened? What time is it? 10.30. Ah, phew. If we work all night, we can still finish the watermelon launcher. Well, now you're talking. And that, Ginger, is why this ping pong table is now used exclusively as a desk. What happened with the watermelon launch? Uh, we won, of course. Using the rocket-powered slingshot you're holding now. Wow! Uh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Ginger! Sorry, Hank! Not sorry! Since that day, we vowed to focus on work and not let anything distract us. That reminds me, we have to finish Biceptor. The fate of our company rests on winning the Robo Olympics. Foosball Express, I got a delivery. It's a foosball table.
Yeah, thanks. We got that when you said Foosball Express. We didn't order a foosball table. Well, I'm not hauling this thing back to the warehouse. I mean, what do I look like? Some kind of delivery man? Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say, lady. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. What are we supposed to do with the foosball table? I mean, the Robo Olympics start in eight hours. We can't waste time playing. Game on. Oh, great. Uh, I don't know how to solve this problem. But I do. <laughs> Okay, I provided the flash of inspiration. Now I'm stuck with three hard days of programming. Teamwork! Don't touch me! Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Okay, what are you doing? What? The TV's broken, so I came over here to watch your TV. What do you call this show? Numbers, numbers, numbers? <sighs> All right. Until I have time to fix your TV, you can watch stuff online. Ooh, watching stuff online. That's right, that is popular. It's revolutionizing viewing habits. Thanks, Ben. Now please stop bothering us. Yeah, we're trying to work. What flavor are these? Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Now, which of my favorite TV shows should I search for? Ooh, how about That's Not My Lunch? <laughs> that schoolboy always has the wrong lunch. Whoops. Attention, click here. This could be the most important link you'll ever click. Psst. Yeah, right. I'm not falling for that. Not falling for that? Excellent. Huh? But nothing you do will ever be more life-changing than clicking this link. Nice try. But I don't think so. Congratulations! By not clicking the first two ads, you've proven you're smart. Click mm -hmm. here and your mother will always be proud huh? of you. It's true, dear. <gasps> I'll be so proud if you click and so disappointed if you don't. Bob? Oh, spooky. Oh, hello. So you want to be a doctor, and maybe even a renowned internet doctor like myself. But do you think you have what it takes? Pop quiz. Question number one. What organ of the body pumps blood? A, the heart, B, a shoe, or C, Count Dracula? Ooh, I do that one. Click. You clicked A, the heart. Very good. Mm -hmm. Question number two. Do you or one huh? of your roommates have a major credit card? Hmm. Ooh, uh-huh. Congratulations! <gasps> You've been accepted to Dr. Internet Doctor's online medical school. And as a special promotion, your first two classes are free! 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 free. Guys, you won't believe this! Free classes not actually free. Failure to pay will result in demand for payment. All sales final. Free parking with validation. Dry clean only. Do not dry clean. Two shows nightly. Two drink minimum. Batteries not included. As seen on TV. Copyright 2004. Wi-Fi not included. Some assembly required. Money, 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 money. Be a doctor, Hank. Looks like this young man needs a lollipop. Well, thanks, Dr. Hank. I had a disease where I needed a lollipop, and then you gave me a lollipop, and now I have a lollipop and I'm cured. So thanks, bye. See, that's what doctors do. We had that lollipops. Now, who wants to be my first practice patient? Uh, yeah, oh, 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 no. Oh, oh. No. Okay, one question, doctor. If we refuse to be a practice patient, will you harangue us day and night until we agree? Hmm. Yeah, that could work. Uh... <sighs> Angela, here's my diagnosis. Your mouth is very, very dark. You were able to figure that out after one day in online medical school? Wow. I know, right? Have a lollipop. Whatever you say, doctor. Ooh. Ow. Tell me, have you had any recent aches or pains? Well, when you called me in here for a checkup, that was kind of a pain. In the neck. <laughs> Very funny, Tom, but the doctor's office is no place for jokes. Yeah, there's pretty much no doctor jokes at all. Yeah, have a lollipop and get out. <laughs> Whatever. Well, Ben, you definitely have a wrist. Is this gonna take long? I was kind of in the middle of... <coughs> Uh-oh. What? I coughed. It's nothing. 
He said, oh, I don't know. I watch a lot of TV, and when someone coughs in the first part of a show, it's never nothing. I better consult my medical school textbook. It's digital. Uh-oh. Jeez. Uh, that's not good. What? What is it? Huh? Uh, oh, nothing. This thing's almost out of batteries. Oh, da. Hmm. Let me ask you this. Do you ever feel tired? Huh. My mind is always alert, so I would say never. Yeah. Oh, sometimes. Have you ever had a ruddy nose? <laughs> I have one right now. Have you ever had an upset stomach? Huh? Did you hear that? Uh, uh, okay, okay, there's nothing to worry about, probably, as long as your left hand doesn't itch. Uh, uh, how much of an itch? Ah! Uh, <laughs> well, it says uh. here the itch would be barely noticeable at first, but the more you think about it, the more it itches. That's exactly what's happening right now! Ah! Uh, ben, I can't even say what this is. Ah! Why? Because it's that bad? No, because it's really hard to pronounce. Oh, but this condition is not good. Give it to me straight, Doc! Well, there's a 50% chance oh. it's nothing. But there's a 60% oh. chance that you're in bad shape. <sighs> ah. Ah. I need to do some research. Here, have these. <sighs> Normal? Oh, this stupid thing is obviously not working. Oh. Oh, I'm burning up. Hey, Ben, I just passed by your workstation, and I noticed that there was a station there, but no work. <sighs> Sorry, Tom. I can't work. I have to take a sick day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that was real, but Ben, you're not sick. It's all in your head. Hank doesn't know what he's talking about. Excuse me, Tom. One of us was accepted into online medical school, so please leave me to my patient. Yeah, visiting hours are over, sir. <laughs> Ben, your illness is definitely what I suspected, and it's scary. Oh no, how scary. Well, I've been kind of a doctor for almost two days, and I've never seen anything this serious. Ben, I'm afraid you're going to need sugary surgery. <sighs> this confirms what I feared all along. Well, confirming fears is the number one job of the doctor. Maybe I should get a second opinion. Okay, I'll give you one. In my opinion, ice cream is more delicious than frozen yogurt. But back to your condition, if you don't get the surgery, can I have your stuff? Ah, when can you fit me into your schedule, doctor? No, wait. What if I try alternative medicine? <laughs> Listen, Ben, you don't need surgery. You just need to relax. Here, breathe in some of this incense. <laughs> Good breeze! Need help! Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna send you healing energy, heart to heart, until you're feeling better. <sighs> now, are you ready for your hug? <sighs> hug? No! No hugging! No hugging! I want the surgery! Don't worry, Ben. It's an easy five-minute procedure. Any doctor could do it with his eyes closed, which is really good because I do not want to see anything icky. First, we make an incision here. No, I... Sorry, not there. Over here. I meant to do it over... No, not there either. Ah, split the difference. Oh, that is messed up. Then it's as simple as presto magico. Oh, dear. That doesn't look right. I can do this. I am an internet doctor. Daddy? Into Benny. Uh, whoa! Stop! Oh, thank goodness. Ben, this is insane. Right, you can't let this happen. Tom, stop. There's only a point zero 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 <coughs> zero one percent chance that I'll survive this operation today. But there's no chance that I'll survive the illness. It's simple math. I couldn't possibly get up if I tried. We have to begin stat! That's a medical term. Tom, you can't just stand there. Do something. Hmm. Ah, fine. You know what? If you're so sick, then I guess I'll have to go to your computer and touch your computer and program your computer in our app myself. Ah, fine. What does it matter? Gee, I hope I don't mess up any of your code. Ah. 
Oh, don't worry. I know how this works. I take my hands, I bang it on this computer thing, and then all the magic comes out. Oh, oops. Hey, Ben, is there an undo button? Time that you can't touch my car! <laughs> ben, I thought you were sick and needed an operation. Well, I'm suddenly feeling much better, so back off. Ben's cured. I get it! And I don't even know what I did! Wait till I tell Dr. Internet Doctor! <laughs> and so, this doctor had his very first success. And your last! <gasps> you failed to pay for your two free classes, so I'm forced, Hank, to kick you out of online medical school. Uh... Perhaps you should try being an internet dentist. Click the link at the bottom of the page now! I don't think so. Ah! <laughs> Well, this patient is cured. Thanks, Dr. Ben. You know, if you really want to be a doctor, you could always go back to college and... Nah, this has taught me an important lesson. Never trust a pop-up. Definitely. Besides, right now, I have a better idea. And now, back to tonight's episode of Hippo Hospital. I may be a hippo, but I follow the Hippocratic Oath. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> These lollipops don't have much flavor. Whoa. Well, well. <laughs> Christmas concerts! <laughs> well, that's later, but right now, let's get some dress rehearsal style applause for Angela! Thank you, thank you! All right, guys, here's a Christmas song my grandmother used to sing to me when I was a little girl. Now, there's just one thing I want for Christmas. Here's some things I like about Christmas. Presents. True that. Mistletoe. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Candy canes. Canes are candy. But you know what I hate about Christmas? Oh, what's that? Reindeer. 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 Stomping on my roof. Stomping on my roof. Eating all my carrots. Woo. Pooping yeah. on my snowman. Filthy nasty reindeer. Get off the stage. Oh no, why? Is there a fire? Your singing stinks as bad as your feet. <gasps> a heckler in my club? You better show yourself before I throw yourself. Sorry, Angela, I feel terrible about this. <laughs> then why are you doing the worms? Worms can feel terrible. Angela, why are you so upset? I was just a heckler. No, Tom. It was more than that. Much more. It brought me back to another time I was heckled. Filthy, nasty reindeer pooping on my snowman. Pooping on my snowman. Get off the stage. Huh? Your singing stinks as bad as your feet. <gasps> Who would do that? Who would heckle a sweet little girl singing a nice song about Christmas? Well, all the doors were locked, we're the only ones here. And I was on stage, so you know it was a feast. So... so that means the heckler is one of you? Oh, that's my new rig toad. I, for one, am shocked and appalled that someone would heckle Angela. Well, you shouldn't be, considering the heckler is... You! Oops, sorry. A simple internet search of Tom and Heckler shows that you, Tom, received not one, not two, but three after school detentions for heckling. And one of them was at a Christmas concert! Tom, you heckled? How could you? That was a different time. I was young and desperate for attention. I never stopped talking. I, I was a real blabbermouth. Couldn't shut me up. I would just go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Tom! The point is, that was a different me, okay? I would never heckle Angela. <sighs> I wish I could believe you. You can! Well, Angela, wait! I have to find the real heckler and clear my name. Luckily, I know everything there is to know about solving mysteries thanks to my favorite show, Professor Bloodhound and Constable Larry. 
You know, that show where the characters spout British cliches to try to sound smart. Indubitably, old chap. Without having done any actual detective work, besides wearing this hat, which I fancy, I can conclude with some degree of certainty that the heckler is... Ben, if that's your real name. Uh, you have no idea what you're doing, do you? I'll ask the questions here. Yes, Professor Bloodhound will ask the questions. Uh, ben, is it or is it not true that you recently developed an app called the Hecklematic? <gasps> The worm hath turned. Well, yes, I did. But and what does the app do? Well, it heckles. Aha! I mean, aha! British. Crumpets. It wasn't me. I only made that app to train myself to deal with hecklers while I'm doing stand-up. Look, see, okay, here. Um, why do magnets win beauty pageants? Because they're so attractive. Get a real job! You're awful! Ginger, that was a heckle! Oops! What? You think I'm the one who heckled Angela? Well, you do enjoy heckling, right, Inspector Bloodhound Tom? Ginger, of course! It's so obvious it hurts! It wasn't me! I'll prove it to you! <laughs> Hank, let me ask you something. You sleepwalk, right? Sure, every night. And while sleepwalking, you scream at anyone who crosses your path. Of course. And what was your favorite part of Angela's performance? I don't know. I fell asleep. Oh, crumpets! Ugh, this is ridiculous. Tom, your investigation hasn't proven anything. And you're the only one who's ever heckled at a Christmas show. So as far as I'm concerned, you're guilty. Please, Angela, you've got to believe me. I'd never heckle you. Guilty. Angela's honestly like the single most amazing person I've ever met. If she thinks I'm the heckler, well, she'll never fall. You think I'm in love with Angela? Oh, come on. Okay, right out. Let, uh, look, I know we're stumped, but I promise we're going to find this heckler somehow. Hey, whenever Professor Bloodhound is stumped, he and Constable Larry always do two things. Have a spot of tea, and then return to the scene of the crime. Oh, that's dreadfully good. Hmm. As a servant of the Crown, I demand to see the security footage from Angela's rehearsal. Oh, yeah! Uh, follow me. Aha! Zoom in there, if you please. Zoom that in. Enhance. Make it so. Yup. Aha! Hank! I've got a feeling I know who our heckler is. Jolly good work, Inspector! Oh yeah! Look at him. He's doing the running bloke. Yeah, I have a different dance for every move. Right now, I'm surprised and kind of hungry. I have gathered you all here at the scene of the crime so that I can reveal not only who heckled Angela tonight, but who heckled her way back when in kindergarten. Because, you see, the two hecklers in question are, in fact, one in the same. Oops, sorry, I'll put it on vibrate. And these bickies, which I believe you call cookies, will prove it. Wait, who's that? Ooh. Hold it right there! Okie dokie. Aha! I knew it! Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you your heckler. Santa? Ho oh, oh, ho, guilty as charged. I knew it! I mean, like, I didn't know it, but I, like, knew it. What? Santa, why would you heckle Angela? Have you ever really listened to the lyrics in her Christmas song? You know, maybe out of context, those lyrics could sound a bit anti-reindeer. I'm sorry. Wait, Tom. How did you know it was Santa? Well, think about it. All the doors were locked, which means the heckler had to find another way into the club. 
like a chimney. Oh, there's a chimney right there! Right, stay with me here, buddy. But what about the robot voice? You mean this voice? <laughs> Just a gadget that the elves made for me. Oh, I'm sorry I heckled you, Angela. The important thing here is that we solved the mystery. And now we know for sure that I'd never, ever, ever, ever do anything to hurt Angela's feelings. Hmm. Mm. Ever. Good. Now, do you think you can still play the Christmas <gasps> concert? Uh -huh. Let me tell you about the dopest Christmas I ever had. Getting heckled by Claus. So, it's Christmas Eve, bro. You gonna tell her how you feel? <laughs> what? I mean, I think she's uh, uh, super swell and uh, an upstanding uh, 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 citizen. Tom, I'm Santa Claus. I know when you're sleeping, I know when you're awake, <laughs> and I know when you're lying. No, I, no, I, what, uh, no. Oh, hey, Angela, hi. I'm so psyched, I can perform again. And it's all <gasps> thanks to <gasps> you, Tom. <laughs> I, um, got you a little something. <laughs> oh, you did? Oh, you didn't have to do that. And I think it really sums up how much you mean to me. Oh, <laughs> gotta go. Oh, just friends forever. Huh. Well, the just part seems a bit unnecessary. <laughs> Get some of that funky you Strength and honor, King Ginger. Strength and honor, Hank. King Hank. Right. How fair are our defenses? Strongly. I just rewatched season two of A Game for Kings, and I realized when the dragons from the east do attack, they're going to come from the sky. Great thinking. I was just in the dungeon, and you know what I found? Uh, more prisoners we forgot about? Uh-huh. Most awesome, fellow king. We can use them as dragon bait. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> Hank and Ginger are so cute in that fort. It's always great when they get along, and the fort's definitely bringing them closer. I think this is really constructive. Sure. <laughs> ah! Oops. Many thanks. I say we've earned a reward, fellow king. Indeed. Tom! Yeah? Oh, hey, you guys added to that castle you built. That's adorable and awesome. <laughs> Silence, peasant! I command you to fetch us a draft of sweet and bubbly elixir from the larder. You guys know what a larder is? Soda, you fool! Fetch a soda! I am the king of soda! No! Ginger is also the king of soda. Oh, yeah, got you. Um, <clears throat> well, please pardon me, me lords. <clears throat> I'll have your refreshments presently, I will. Ah, oh, man, Hank and Ginger are really committed to that fort. Yes, and for such primitive artisans, I've got to say I'm impressed. It seems like they may have actually done some real research. And besides, if their silly game keeps them from bothering me, then I'm all for it. Plus, you're scared of them. Oh, Tob, the kings of soda require your servitude again. Yes, bring us soda, peasant. <laughs> all right, gotta run. Duty calls. Coming, me lords. Uh, huh? Huh? Bah, are you kidding me? Hey, Ginger! Oh, by the fires of Pudu, what have we here? Hank, I'm trying to get to the kitchen. A troll! Looking to plunder our stores, no doubt! State your business, beast! Guys, I'm in the middle of a project. I'm taking a lunch break. But we're in the middle of ruling a kingdom! I'm a king! Yeah, we're kings. I do believe we could grant you passage to the kitchen if you paid us a tribute, you landlubber! Wait, wait, wait. landlubber? Yes? That's a pirate expression. I know. Give us your gold! Ginger, don't be ridiculous. No! Stay as thy hand, King Ginger. We shall settle for cake, foul creature. For I am a cake king. Right? Yeah, Hank's a cake king. 
This is idiotic! I'm not taking part in your dumb game! Oh, you watch your tongue, vile beast! I'm not a beast. I'm an adult who's trying to take a break from working very hard. Now, if you won't move your stupid gate... Uh, um, portcullis? I know what it's called! Now out of my way! Soil ah! by small clothes! Ah! King Ginger, ah! the troll is attacking our key! I see it, King Hank! Fire at will! I've had it with a stupid fork. Strength <laughs> <laughs> and honor! Uh, all right, enough's enough. The fort has to come down. Calm down, calm down. I'll go talk to him. Bad idea. Hey, Hank, Ginger, listen, guys. We Fire, Fire in the, the hole! hole. <laughs> Direct hit! Yay, verily! Uh, whoa! Ben! You were not kidding. I told you, they're relentless. Hmm, they are really into their roles. <laughs> Ahoy, Captain King Ginger. You need to see this. Why do three peasants seek an audience with King Ginger, boss of everything, and Hank, king of cakes and master of televised lore? Guys, uh, th th this has gone far enough, all right? The, the castle needs to come down. Me thinks the King Ginger can decide when their own castle comes down. Wouldn't you agree, King King? Yes, King Ginger. And I choose... Never! Never! You guys, Oily and Benup wasn't cool. Ooh, does anyone else want pasta? Behold, the castle has a... a boat! Yeah! You guys are in the moat? <laughs> You're drowning in your dick! Surprise! Yeah! You guys are blocking off the kitchen. We actually need to eat. These scabrous upstarts remain to Determined to overthrow our rule! Attack! Run away! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Ginger and Hank's stupid game has taken over the whole garage. I can't work, and I've completely burned through the energy bars I keep in a drawer as an emergency backup. I'm sick of being treated like a serf in my own house. But what can we do? They won't acknowledge anything that isn't part of their stupid pretend game. So we'll have to defeat them at their own game. <gasps> you don't mean... Prepare for... They're charging right at us, very slowly. <laughs> uh, one of us should say halt. Do you want to say it, or should I say it? Halt! Why, pray tell, do you approach the fortress with this foreign thingy? And why are you armed? Purely ceremonial, me lords, I assure you. Jousting, turkey leg, medieval uh, British. Yes, your highnesses, we come to beg thine. Thou or thine? Uh... To beg your forgiveness for our earlier disrespect. And where is the gross and stupid energy bar guzzler troll bed? Alas, he could not be swayed to show you the proper respect, so he shall remain a hostage in my quarters in the land, um, the, the realm of, of the uh, upstairs. A rightful fate for one so disgusting and dishonorable. And what? is in that chest there. A giant cake, King Ginger, as a token of our fealty. Oh, <gasps> Ginger, I'm a cake king. You are King Hank. We shall accept this gift at the gate. It's a portcullis. <laughs> it's working. But that's far enough. Strength and honor. What devilry be this? Now, Tom! Now! Oh! British! British! Now we're going down! I got you! Got you with a pillow! I'm wearing magic armor! Magic armor? Yeah, I remember that trick from when I was a kid. That's tough to beat. Oh, no, you don't! Oh, curse you, troll! You fool! Closing that 
Gate! Uh, Portcullis has only bought you time! Seems like you're out of time, Hank. You guys said the rug was a moat. Remember? Huh? The boat! Why did we say the rug was a moat? Glub, glub, glub! Have a nice swim. No! Ben! You've been cut down by a poison shark! No! Breathe, Ben! Stay away from the light! I am slain! Ah, you yes. never get... <laughs> oh, man! I'm totally dead! Good shot, Tom! Ah. Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ex-King Ginger and Ex-King Hank, I strip you both of all ranks and titles and fake royalty and forthwith banish you from this court. <gasps> Ginger, wait. They've won. I have not left but the stale crumbs of my cakey crowd. And this has gone on long enough. Let's be mature about this. Plus, we have jetpacks. Oh, yeah. Space. <laughs> Whew. Angela. Your strategy worked perfectly. Yes, excellent work. Aw, thanks, guys. I just figured the only thing they respected was their game. So if we played along, they'd go with it. <laughs> yeah, and to be honest, it was actually pretty fun. Well, I guess it's time to take this thing apart. Yeah, guess so. Unless, uh, what if I go up to the wall to watch for dragons first? Good idea, Queen Angela. I'm headed to the larder to prepare us a victory feast. I'll go tend my wounds and make preparations in case there is another attack. To the castle! Wow, snowed by a blizzard. It's just like the movie Snow Place Like Home for the Holidays. Ooh, or that other movie, Snow Place Like Home for the Holidays 2, Cold Onto Your Horses. Speaking of frozen treats, gather around, because I'm about to show you something that'll change your life. How many times has this happened to you? You know you want a milkshake, but you can't decide which flavor. Constantly. Never. I avoid dairy products. Ginger. Sorry, Tom. Not sorry. There's got to be a better way to pick a milkshake. Right, Tom? Well, now there is. Say hello to the world's greatest milkshake flavor decider, the Shake Out. Wait, what? You want me to shake it? With one shake of the flavor wheel and a quick scan of your entire online history, in seconds, the Shake app will tell you and all your friends your perfect milkshake match. Angela, it says you want a vanilla milkshake. What? No, I don't. Vanilla's like my fourth least favorite milkshake. Ugh. Wrong. I mean, I guess the Shake app knows you better than you know yourself. Why are you even designing apps now? Because I'm dedicated, and you never know when opportunity is going to knock. Huh, not exactly a knock. Yeah, not to me. That was more like a crash. Oh, now that was a knock. As you probably know, I'm the CEO of the most powerful tech company in town. Here's my situation. It seems the combination of my experience at the helicopter wheel, or stick, or whatever you call it, along with the weather, has resulted in somewhat of a rough landing explosion. Uh, uh. Aha! I didn't really faint. It was just a test to see if I could trust you. You passed. Uh. Out I go. Wow, man who can make a 
make all of our dreams come true is right here, dreaming on our couch. I think. Wait, do billionaires dream? I don't know, but they sure do snore. What do we do with them? I could snowmobile him home on the back of my snowmobile. Because I have a snowmobile. No, you're not putting him on your snowmobile. Yeah, you're right. Since I crashed it, it only goes left. Guys, we just need to let him rest. At least that's what it says on my new revolutionary open up and say app app. That's right. Just imagine one device that measures blood pressure, temperature, and whether you've been in a helicopter crash. Whoa, 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 stop that. Okay, now everyone follow me. Look, everybody, I don't want to point fingers at Ben, but Ben, I know what you're doing, all right? Yes, the CEO is very powerful, and yes, he has the ability to change all of our lives, but we're not gonna take advantage of this helpless billionaire by pitching him an app or selling him an idea or asking him to buy us a pair of racing elephants. No, none of that. Tom, that's not- Smart? I know. Maybe it's not smart to pass up a business opportunity like this, but we're not gonna do the smart thing. We're gonna do the right thing. We're gonna put the health and well-being of our guests ahead of our own selfish business interests. Can we all agree on that? Uh, yeah. Uh. Oh, well, what happened? Where am I? <gasps> My snow boots! Where are they? Do you know how much they cost? A lot! They protect my feet from my arch nemesis. The weather. Wh where's Tristan? Now don't worry. The weather can't hurt you anymore. Oh. These walls are like expensive snow boots for your whole body. Oh, there they are. You're among friends now. Great. Can one of you friends call my office and let them know I've been in another helicopter crash? Tell them to send a, I don't know, a helicopter? Call your office? Right away, sir. That sounds like a way to help. And that's what we're here to do. To help. Right? Make sure you hit all the sevens. Got it. Mega huge dynamic, this is Tristan speaking. This could be your big opportunity. Please hold. I'm on hold. Sometimes you gotta do the wrong thing to get the right results. I know I told everyone earlier that we should do the right thing, but it occurred to me that sometimes you need to do the wrong thing to get the right results. I mean, what if that hold music was some kind of sign? This is your sign. So, what did Tristan say? Uh, Tristan said that he can't come get you because a volcano, uh, backed into his desk. Ah, volcanoes need to learn that driving is not a right, it's a privilege. Ugh, canos. Since you're stuck here, let me ask you something. Are you tired of wasting time and energy wondering what flavor milkshake is right for you? Milkshakes? You are clearly trying to sell him your shake app. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought we all agreed not to take advantage of the disoriented billionaire. I don't know what you're talking about. Tom, may I speak with you privately? What in the name of science do you think you're doing? What are you talking about? That was pitching, Tom! Okay, fine. But it's only because I was trying to do the right thing. The right thing is telling his assistant to come pick him up! <gasps> You never talked to his assistant, did you? He might not even be that good of an assistant. I mean, what if the CEO was trying to get away from him? What if that's why he crashed the helicopter in the first place? We can't send him out there with some Tristan who wants to hurt him. Wow, I never thought you'd stoop this low. Well, if you're gonna stoop, then I'm gonna stoop. Get out of my way! My door! Stop. Sir, it's a hot tea that will warm you up. Thank you. You're a great nurse, if that's what you are. And an even better singer! Check it! The best idea you've never had is the song that I am singing now. Right. Why are you singing at me? Because I... Beat it, Angela! Oh, thanks for that. I'm guessing you're a, what's the word, child? Of course! Dad? On one hand, my parents are the second richest people in town. On the other hand, the CEO is the richest. Ginger, get down! You're in the way of my sound! Angela, step away from the billionaire! Hey, get your own billionaire! Hey, do not yell at Angela! 
Ginger, get off him! Hey, that's my alleged son you're yelling at. Your son? Come on, Dad, let's get out of here! Ha <laughs> <laughs> that's my boy! Possibly. Uh, uh, well, 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 if you leave now, you'll be sorry because you'll miss an opportunity to hear my great idea. Which is nothing compared to my great idea. The open up and say app app. Which is nothing compared to my voice. Uh, this meeting's over. Get hey, come back. And out I go. Uh, knock it off, Ginger. Can't believe our earthquake warning vase landed on his head. I know. Now when am I going to get to pitch him my shake app? It doesn't matter. He's not going to let us pitch him anything now. Yeah, he'll probably just want to leave. That's right. I'm leaving just as soon as I find my... Great, there they are. Ah, ah, ah. Not so fast. Before you get your boots, I have a question. How many times has this happened to you? You know you want a milkshake, but you can't decide which flavor. Wow. <laughs> Holding a man's boots hostage so you can give him a sales pitch? You are officially worse than the weather. Worse than the weather? That's right. I'm thinking of making you my new arch nemesis. Of course, that would make the weather a regular nemesis. Are you following this, son? Which one of you is my son? Dad? Wow, I don't know what to say. I don't want to be any kind of nemesis. Me neither. What's a nemesis? Uh, it's that. A shadow? What? No, it's us. It's me. Look, we do what we do here to make the world a better place. But today, when this man needed our help, we put our own selfish interests ahead of his well-being. All because his stupid hold music told us to. You took advice from hold music? Uh, I told Tristan to change that song. You are not the first caller to radically misinterpret those lyrics. Please, accept our apology, Mr. CEO. Thank you, naughty boots. You and your boots are free to go. Right. Now, do you have a helicopter? No, but you can take my snowmobile. Thanks. Here is a dollar. Now, I will face my arch nemesis head on. Have at you, weather. <laughs> it's funny. Sometimes when opportunity knocks, it's not really opportunity. It's just a rich guy who's survived a helicopter crash and he's got a lesson about doing the right thing. Hey, Hank, did you ever get the steering fixed on that snowmobile? Nope, sure didn't. Why? Yeah, to me that was definitely a crash. You guys, I have done it. I found the piece that the room was missing. Behold. Wow. wow. Nice feng shui, for once. I know, right? Putting a lamp next to the TV really ties everything together. Hank, we've had our differences. We have? But none of that matters now. What you've done here today, this is something really great. And I want you to know that. Fist bump. <gasps> a fist bump? I don't deserve it. Yes, you do, Hank. And no one can take that away from you. Huh? Hello. The door was closed, so I opened it without knocking and let myself in. <gasps> I present to ye the landlord. Da, 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 da. Do not do that. Whatever thou sayest, my lord. Look, landlord, there's no law against paying rent and free haircut punch cards. They're as good as money at the barber shop. Hey, do not worry. I'm not here to evict you. I'm just, uh, I'm just here to kick you out. Ah, he's just kicking us out. Wait a minute! That's a synonym! You can't hoodwink us, landlord! Listen, I need you guys out, but just for one week, while I make few repairs. It turns out there's a mm, minor volcano bubbling underneath the place. Suddenly city's like, you can't let your garage sink into lava again. Again? Everything will be A-OK -okay cool, hunky-dory. We'll have two hamburgers, chef's preference, a cheesy malt shake, and a couple of sleeping bags with a toothbrush. What about a Blue Jack Wi-Fi port? Or an orchid? Wait a minute! You aren't just trying to order lunch! You're trying to order living here! <laughs> what? Yep, we are. 
We're homeless. Well, technically, I have a home, but I have no place to do my work. Uh uh, can't help you. But if you decide you want a side salad or a shepherd's pie, then I can help you. Well, wait, but I do want the shepherd's pie. And she's gone. Uh oh. Hey, guys! Oh, wait, you look sad. Hey, guys, what's wrong? Our garage slash studio got eaten up by a volcano. Oh, no. Guys, that's such a bummer. Side hug? I'm going to send that side hug back, Angela. It's not going to help. Uh, actually... <laughs> As a garaged person, there's no way you can know the struggle of us, the garageless. Having to get by without walls and a ceiling and space for friends to crash for a while. Wait a minute. Those are all things I have. You guys can come stay with me. <laughs> come on. Really? Sounds good. That sounds like an optimal plan. You shall be our new landlord, Belady. Okay, that's weird. Uh, 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 yeah. Wow, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna be with Angela all day and all night. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna be with Angela all day and all night? This is gonna be terrible. Uh, what if I blow it? What if the guys blow it? Hey. Place looks great. Girl, stop! And it's even nicer when you can see it. I mean, these walls? Oh, sturdy. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, make yourselves at home. Feel free to watch TV or sit in a cool chair or look in any of the mirrors. We used to have a mirror back in the garage. It'll be all right, Hank. For the next week, this can be our garage. Whoa, hold on. I am sorry you had to hear that, Angela. We are not gonna treat this place like the garage. This is Angela's home, and we are just guests. Ah! Hey! And we do not touch any tiny horse statues. This thing probably has a lot of value to a collector of fine art, like Angela. Actually, that was just here when I moved in. See, it's been here since she moved in, and it's fragile. So no tossing it like a ball, or sticking it in your nose, or kicking it to see if it breaks. Be respectful. Okay, that was weird. I'll go get your sleeping bags. Way to go, guys. You made it weird. Angela, wait up. I can help. <laughs> Tom's acting like this because he likes Angela. <laughs> ah, there's no way we're going to make it through a week of this. Let's go, everybody. It's time to dance. Let's go, everybody, and shake your pants? No. Hmm. Shake your butts? Oh, that's crude. Psst. Angela! Ah! Oh, he scared me. What is it, Tom? I just wanted to say, this is going pretty well, right? I mean, we're all having fun. Sure, Tom. We're all having fun. Cool. Yep, cool. Hmm. Shake your fingers? No, that makes no sense. Oh, Angela! Ah! So I just realized I might have annoyed you by interrupting you while you were writing. It's okay, Tom. It was fine. Okay, cool. So even though I did that, this is still fun. It's not that it was fun until I asked about it, now it's not. Right? Yes, it's fine. Cool. Ugh. Good night, Tom. Okay, all right. Finally. Angela! What, Tom? Just now, when I asked if things were fun, you said things were fine. So is this just a word choice, or are you saying things aren't fun anymore? You know what, Tom? I actually am getting a little annoyed now. I know it. Ah, that's it. Everybody up! Emergency house meeting. I think I handled that pretty well. Hey, guys. I was thinking tonight we could do a... Do you like what I've done with the place? I wanted to make sure that nobody breaks any of your stuff, so I boxed it up. So now, it'll be safe. And what is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that's where they went. He threatened to kick my computer! I could have escaped, but I wanted to see how this played out. Okay, Tom, it's time to put the box down and take a break. You'll have to pry this out of my... Gimme, gimme, gimme! No! I can fix this. I just need something to glue the pieces together. Ha, ah, of course. Muddy boots. Let 
the sticky boot mud work its magic. Okay, that's it. Huh? Emergency house meeting. Tom, this is not easy to say to someone I consider such a good friend. But I think I speak for everyone when I say, you have to find somewhere else to stay while your garage is being fixed. Oh, great, Ben. You got us kicked out. No, Tom. Not Ben. Just you. Huh? House vote? <sighs> yes! Affirmative! Huh. Yeah. Huh. Um. Pass. Yes. And I say... Yes. <sighs> Sorry, Tom. Oh. I see. Well, I guess I'll just be going then. I'm sorry I couldn't be the perfect roommate, Angela. So, I heard it might rain later today. Yep. But then again, it might not. Yep. True, true. Might not. Yep, you never know. Huh, it's kind of boring here without Tom acting crazy. Well, yeah, Tom always makes something fun happen. That's what's great about having him around. Hey, you did what you had to do. Tom broke your horse. Oh, that was pretty great. And he stomped mud all over the floor. Those were good times. Oh, man, I miss him. Angela, we have to get Tom back. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Ginger. Come on, huh? everybody. Yeah, let's go get Tom. What? I do my best work when I'm being interrupted by Tom. Whoop. <gasps> Whoa. Tom, come out of there. It's not safe. It's fine. I'll live here for the rest of the week. It, it'll be just like that game. Freeze tag? Nah, uh, I think he means the watch out the floor is made of lava now game. Oh, right. Sorry, my mind isn't on games right now. Tom, I have something to tell you. Uh, okay, hold on. Careful. Whoa. On your left. Watch out. Oh. I know I am the worst roommate. I deserve to live above a volcano. N no, that's not it. I have to tell you that... <laughs> It was really sweet that you tried so hard to make rooming together fun. It was? I mean, it was. You really cared that I was happy. In a weird way, that kind of makes you the perfect roommate. Well, I, I guess I, I wanted to impress you because, you know, I like... <laughs> oh, hey, Lava Burp. Cover your mouth, Lava. Gross. Yeah, nasty. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Side hug? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. I told you knock off it. And so I shall, your lordship. For now. <laughs> ah, I tell you, you can't be in here till the end of the week. I'm still working on the place. Don't worry, Tom's landlord. For the rest of this week, he's staying with me. Come on, you two. Get out of there. We're coming, Ben. Here we come. That's it, Tom. One ben. more stream on your left. Okay. One more lead. Last one. Now. Ta-da. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, go home, Tom. Yeah. Nothing bring people together like lava. Lady and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the greatest video game the world has ever known. Safe driving to No Right Turn on Red. You're all going down. No chance, Tiny Pants. I'm going to use turn signals and hand signals, just to be safe. If someone cuts me off in traffic, I am going to stay calm and give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's an emergency. Buckle up and start your engines. The race begins in three, two, one. Huh? Oh, no! Oh, no! Huh. Why is it all dark when my eyes aren't closed? All right, nobody panic. Ben, what is going on? Hmm. Judging from the sudden loss of power, I'd say the power went out. Everybody panic! Ah! Wait! We plugged in our phones and our computers hours ago. We can use those to entertain ourselves until the power comes back on. Uh -huh. 
<gasps> They're all dead! Yeah. What? Ben, what's the status of my lava lamp? Also dead. Aww. And all because someone thought that their lava lamp was more important! <sighs> it would have been so groovy. Ah. Can you believe how boring things were after the power went out last night? Seriously, that was the longest 27 minutes of my life. I actually had a chance to think, and I did not like it. You're all just lucky I was able to keep my cool. Without your precious phones, you were all like, oh no, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Tom, that was you. Yeah, that's literally like all you said until the power came back on. The point is, last night showed that we've become too dependent on technology. Like, when's the last time someone actually checked our mailbox? Oh, I checked it right before my birthday and right after my birthday. Yeah, I don't live here. I get all my mail online. Really? Well, then who is all that for? Okay, no sudden movement. Everybody stand back. I am approaching the mailbox. This is all junk mail. It's not all junk. Here's a letter addressed to Tom and Ben Enterprises from Unpopular Science Magazine. <gasps> Whoa, Whoa, what is it? That's been the most popular tech magazine since people read magazines. Oh, wow. Let me see. Dear entrepreneur, hmm, we blah, 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 blah. So therefore, Unpopular Science would like to honor your contributions to the tech world by inviting you to visit our headquarters on Floppy Disk Island. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, no. Huh? They only sent one ticket. Whoa. I don't want to tell you how to run your business, but uh, I think huh? you should send some sort of a celebrity to represent huh? you. Or someone young and cool. No way, I'm the face of the company. Yeah, well, I'm the brains. Oh, I have a face and a brain. So, what are we going to do? What if we all make a bet? I made my bet this morning. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Not a bet, Hank. A bet. Ooh, what kind of bet? Based on how we acted last night during the blackout, it seems safe to say we're all addicted to technology, right? Uh-huh. Not me. Ooh, high score. I'm sorry, what? I was texting. So I propose the following contest. Whoever can go the longest without using any cell phone or computer or any TV of any kind will win the ticket to Floppy Disk Island. Whoop, I bid. Me too. Then I'm in too because you have to include me or it's not fair. Prepare to feel the sting of a calculated competitive routing. <laughs> that means I'm in too. All right, cough them up. I know, I know. Come on, all of them. Fine. Is that it? Yes. No. Let the contest begin. Well, one thing's for sure, if I want to win, I need to stay away from this place as much as possible. Yeah, let's get out of here. Too much temptation. Oh, Hank! Huh? Is it today the season premiere of Crime and Punishment, DMV? Oh, yeah, that's right. What? I'm out. <laughs> Hank, just like that, you're out? Yeah. The season finale was a cliffhanger where Hillbilly Jack got busted cutting in line. I think he was framed but I won't know for sure until I watch it. Ah, poor Hank. Some people just can't live without technology. <sighs> I can't believe it's only been 17 minutes without technology. How would I know? How long has it been? I don't have my smartwatch! Uh, I miss music. I miss making it and listening to it and dancing to it like no one's watching. I miss online candy shopping and the free instant delivery. Tom. Tom? Hmm? Yeah? What's going on? How are you holding up? Huh? Oh, the contest. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I can do this. People survive for thousands of years without electronics. How? What do they do? Um, they farm. We can farm. Farm with me, Ginger. Farm with me. Okay. Like this? <laughs> We're doing it. We're farming! Yes! I can hear it going! 
now we must dance, young Ginger. Dance so the rain will come and water our crops. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Angela. Whoa. Are you okay? Shh. Listen. Ba -ba -ba. Can you hear that? Oh, it's so uh. beautiful. <laughs> Uh, don't you think it's time that you quit the contest? Zip it, Tom! Oh, you made him fly away! Come back, sweet maker of music! <sighs> huh. Hey, Ginger, it says here the Odd Line Candy Store is having a two-for-one <gasps> sale. Free instant delivery of every candy imaginable. Chocolate Krusties, never-ending Nom Noms, Jelly Jim Jams, Clyde's Original Rock Candies... <gasps> Uh-huh. Extra sour. <laughs> hey, give that back! <laughs> Poor kid doesn't know what to do without technology. <clears throat> uh, me? I'm just enjoying the day. Oh, Angela, have you heard the new number one hit song? I think it's called something like, Dance, Dance, Don't Stop Dancing. Ha! <laughs> nice try, guys. No, I heard it too. Really? Not, not, not that I listen to that type of music, hmm. but just go to any website on the entire internet and it'll probably just start playing. Are you kidding? Dance, dance, dance don't, don't stop dancing. Dance, no. dance, dance, don't you dare stop oh. dancing. Oh. Don't you stop. Um, so, uh, excuse me, I'm just gonna go, um, uh, powder my nose. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Totally worth it. <laughs> yes! Too easy. Looks like it's just you and me now. Partner? Yeah. Partner. <laughs> what is he doing? He's winning this contest. That's what he's doing. Get him, Tom! That's what I'm talking about. Huh? What was that? That was my phone. It must have an update available. And it sends a notification. I don't care. That was my computer. It must also have an update available. <laughs> Good, no big deal. Huh? Wait, wh what was that? That was the microwave. It has a burrito update for my mouth. Ah, I can't take this anymore. Must update everything. <gasps> my dear sweet technology. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'll never leave you again. I promise. <laughs> Congrats, Tom. I guess when it comes to surviving without technology, you are the strongest. Tom? He shoots. It's up. It's good. Woo! I mean, what? Hey, where'd Ben go? Oh, hey, I won. Yippee. Wait a second. Hey, I was listening to that. I mean, hey, what is that? You've been listening to a basketball game this whole time? Hey, what? Uh, what? You uh, cheated, which means I won. Floppy Disk Island, here I come. But now excuse me while I pack. Let's see. Laptop, check. Tablet, check. Cell phone, oh. check. Oh. Backup cell phone, mm -hmm. check. Yes. Bye-bye, friends mm -hmm. and cheater. I'm off to celebrate my victory at Floppy Disk Island! Uh, hey, Ben. Later! But the letter says, be sure to bring the following. Candles, a hammock, a wooden club, flint, and steel. Uh-oh. I think Ben forgot some important things. Like what? Unpopular Science Magazine invites you to the No Technology Party. Join us in remembering the past with no electronics. Tom, how could you not mention that? Well, I... I, I kind of skimmed parts of it. Yeah, it's a very long letter. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> huh? Huh. 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 Oh, hey, Angela. What's going on? Wait a second. Did I just hear the sound of your phone uh, not uh, making a sound uh, when I called? Uh, well, I don't know what you're... Oh, whoa. Whoops. 
How are you? Because yesterday I changed your ringtone to my new song, What's Not to Love. Yeah, I found that out when my phone rang at the Museum of Silence. Yeah, the tour guide was so bad, he almost said something. Well, this isn't a museum, so why don't you turn it back on? Uh, because... Oh, let's see, how can I put this? I knew it! You hate my new song! <laughs> what? I like it! Everybody likes it! I mean, Hank, what do you think of Angela's new song? Huh? Oh, I have to go and uh, watch my carrots grow. I planted carrots in my excuse huh? garden. Okay, Angela, fine. You want to know the truth? The truth is... I loved your song! Really? Oh... Yes! Totally! Huh? And now that I think about it, I'm going to make sure I hear What's Not to Love every time I get a call. Wow. And there. Yeah, uh -huh. Did you wash that carrot? No. Did you wash your cereal? Huh? You guys, guess why today is better than yesterday and why tomorrow will be even better than today. Okay, so you know Victoria Payne? Victoria <gasps> Payne. Isn't she oh. that really mean music critic from the Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down report? Yeah! Remember when she made that hip-hop star, tough guy, no tears, cry? <laughs> and then she gave his crying a thumbs down. Oh, she's so cool. Well, tomorrow she's coming here to interview me <laughs> and review <laughs> my new song. <coughs> what? Why, why, why would you agree to that? Because if Victoria Payne gives you a thumbs up, it basically means you've made it in the music world. <gasps> Angela, this is a mistake. Victoria Payne doesn't like anyone. Thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down. I know she can be negative, but guess what? I'm positive. And you know what happens when a negative meets a positive? An angel gets its wings. Close. It turns a thumbs down into a thumbs up. This isn't good. Angela got upset when she thought I didn't want her new song as my ringtone? How is she going to handle a review from Victoria Payne? <sighs> well, if Angela's going to do the interview, all I can do is be there for her. Huh? Mm. Instant springtime. <laughs> Tom, what are you doing? If Victoria's allergic to these flowers, you're guaranteeing a bad review. Tom, relax. You're getting all worried for nothing. I've never had a bad review. Yeah, but look who reviewed you. Happiness Monthly, Journal of Positivity. Don't forget the awesome report. The awesome report. That's me. It says I'm awesome. Oh, and Smile Magazine. Smile Magazine. Victoria Payne doesn't work for Smile Magazine. She makes a living out of huh? ruthlessly crushing singers. Mm -hmm. <gasps> this is it? <gasps> Break a leg, me. Victoria, welcome. It is an honor to meet you. Well, look at you. You are definitely Angela. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Ooh, what was that move? A curtsy. Not a cool move in this situation. Definitely not cool. Is there anything I could get you? Oh, are you cold? I could get you a sweater. Sometimes when I'm cold, I put on a sweater. Ooh, no thanks. Oh, that's cool. I mean, not like cold because it's the right temperature, but that's great. And I'm cold, I put on a sweater? Oh. So, do I talk or... Sorry, it's just that you're so... Uh, nice. Oh, thanks, Victoria. So are you. How did you come up with your new song, What's Not to Love? Or, I'm sorry, do you still say love? Great question, Victoria. Well, I started thinking about the things I love, and I realized I pretty much love everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I'm not sure I do. Mm. Well, I know what you mean, Angela. Huh? I'm Tom. Hi, great. Tom. Huh? <laughs> uh. So, here are some of your song titles. Look for the rainbow in every rainbow. Happy longer than forever. And now, what's not to love? <laughs> So how would you respond to a person who says your songs are too cheerful? A person said that? Who? Can you tell me their name? A person can say anything on the internet that doesn't mean it's true. Guys, <laughs> you can't let stuff written on the internet bother you, okay? Well, that is just... Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I won't. What's not to laugh? Yeah. 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 Thank, you. Uh -uh. Oh, thank you. Thank <sighs> you. What a performance. <laughs> Thanks. I'm so glad you liked it. Well, I think I've seen enough to write the article. Oh. It has been really nice meeting all of you. It was nice meeting you, too. Huh. She's not as mean as I thought. Yeah, I kind of like her. I just don't get it. She's not like I expected at all. We were wrong about Victoria Payne. I guess we worried for nothing. Hey everyone, Victoria Payne here. Welcome to the Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down Report. Today, we'll be talking about a local singer trying to make a name for herself. This is Angela. She's likable, she's friendly, she has a nice voice, and she has a new song called What's Not To Love. Hmm. What's Not To Love? Well, let me see. Hmm? Hmm. For starters, this song. <gasps> What's Not To Love sounds like it was cranked out by like a huh? songwriting machine that doesn't know what ears are. It's sugary sweet sound and fake positive message give me a headache. I have a big message for Angela's friends and it's um, don't encourage her. Oh and Angela, I have a message for you too. Write better songs. Angela, 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 I want to tell you that if this is all you've got, you gotta never sing again, okay? I give Angela a thumbs down. Pain out. Ben? Is it possible to erase the internet? Well, not without a pretty major solar flare. Then I guess my career is over. <laughs> okay, it's the day after the thumbs down. And I still feel mad. No, I feel super mad. You know what? I just thought of something. I am going to write a mean review of Victoria. Okay, you guys, update. I couldn't write a mean review. I really tried, but I'm like, what's the point? And then I went on the internet and I saw this thing that said you can't fight fire with fire. And I was like, yeah, you can't. That just causes more fire. And oh, someone should put that on a pillow. Oh, no. Maybe Victoria was right. Yeah, maybe I do give people headaches. I have a headache right now. Oh, that is it. I am never singing again. That's sad. I know. I love singing, but I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm really, really going to miss it. Hey, Angela, huh? do you think mm -mm. maybe it's time to come out from under that blanket? That's Tom. He doesn't like my music either. Mm, all right, that's enough. Oh, hey, give me back my sadness cave. You're not getting back your sadness cave until you listen to what I have to say. Hmm. Smoothie. <sighs> Thanks. First of all, I like your music. Stop saying that I don't. And second, why do you even care? <laughs> what do you mean, why do I care? Do you like your music? Yes. And do you like your new song? What's not to love? I meant it as an answer to Tom's question, but it's also the title of Angela's song. Yes, I love my song. And doesn't your opinion of the song matter more than my opinion? Or Victoria's? Uh, let's see if I can interpret. Angela thinks her problem is with her music, <laughs> but the solution to this problem is also her music. So instead of being sad, she should write a song that turns this thumbs down situation into a thumbs up. Maybe you guys are right. Writing music does make me feel better. I emerge from the sadness cave with a smile on my face. All your negativity is gone without a trace. Never sing again, never sing again. Check your ears right now, Victoria. Cause I am not never singing again. Pain can't hurt me. Pain can't hurt me. Pain can't hurt me. You see, it's her name. You call. Writing a 
song made me feel so much better. The number of views is going up like crazy. This is your best song ever. Thanks, Tom. On a scale of one to 10, you guys are the best. Oh, listen to what people are saying. Angela, you're my hero. Oh, that's sweet. Your song made my day. Well, that comment made my day. Here's another one. Angela, you're horrible. You should probably never open your mouth again. No, no. What? Who said that? What's their screaming? <gasps> Write it down. We're going after them. You called me sugar sweet. You gave me a thumbs down. I got news for you. What do you call people who see our episodes first? Subscribers? Click below.